Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Reiki Recovery. I can fast forward infinitely. Chapter 81. When the three met, Johan and Fang Junyan just looked at Su Mu curiously, and passed by Su Mu in an instant, leaving only one sentence. Go back to the second ring, the third ring is not where you should go. The voice fell, and the two had gone away in an instant. The young people who can appear in the land of fire at this time, although they are also wearing battle armor, but they do not have the standard weapons and identity marks of the demon suppressing army, it is obvious that this is Su Mu. It's a pity that Pa and Fang Junyan don't have much interest in Su Mu now. Their only goal is to use the general level monsters to create pressure, complete the improvement of the blood limit of the warrior realm as soon as possible, and finally break through the warrior realm. Su Mu, judging from the information they got before, is indeed very strong, but I'm afraid there is still a gap between them. So, the two ignored Su Mu directly. They didn't even bother to remind Su Mu if it wasn't for the fact that they were all freshmen from the same training class. The third ring is the world of general monsters, where Su Mu can go. Didn't you see that both of them have to join forces? And they are ready to run away at any time. As the two walked away, Su Mu frowned slightly, then shook her head and didn't care. It's good to be ignored, and he doesn't care, these two people are very arrogant, but he, Su Mu, is not arrogant. Before coming in, Chen Yanan also reminded him that if he was in danger, he could find these two guys, Su Mu had already ignored it. Chen Yanan is also kind, he thinks that Johan and Fang Junyan should break through the realm of martial arts. With the background of these two evildoers, once they break through to the martial master realm, their strength is likely to skyrocket in an instant, and it is just a piece of cake to break through tens of millions of combat power. It's a pity that Su Mu has no intention of demanding people at all, let alone the obvious Johan and Fang Junyan have no breakthrough at all. Even if they break through, with the arrogance of these two people, they will not talk to Su Mu. Su Mu then also entered the third ring. Not far away, Su Mu heard a movement not far away, presumably Johan and Fang Junyan had already fought with the general level monster. Su Mu immediately changed direction, not wanting to run into these two people. Soon, Su Mu stopped. There was a hole in front of him. There was steaming steam above the hole, and there was black smoke rising from it. After a distance, Su Mu took out the map Chen Yunxi gave him and checked again. If the map is correct, there is a new general level monster in this magma cave. Of course, even if you are just entering the rank of general, your combat strength is tens of millions. What's more, there is more than one general level monster in this cave, there are also many warrior level monsters, and a large number of warrior level monsters. This is a race of monsters, named Red Fire Beast, which specializes in absorbing magma energy in caves for cultivation, is good at swallowing magma, and is not afraid of high temperatures. In the next second, Su Mu put away the map, took out the bleeding gun, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, Red Fire Beast, it's you. Swish. In the next second, Li Mu jumped directly from the hole. Roar, feeling the movement, there was a roar in the cave immediately. Su Mu saw that the rock walls on both sides of the cave were covered with huge holes, and the roar was coming from the holes at this moment. In the next second, before Su Mu landed, he saw a fiery red monster with no hair coming out of these holes. These monsters roared at him one after another, then jumped up one by one, and rushed towards Su Mu one after another. This magma cave is their home, and any foreign race coming in is an enemy. Su Mu sensed that these monsters were all existences equivalent to human warriors. He raised his eyebrows and swept his spear instantly. Boom, bang bang bang. His chi and blood are as high as 400,000 calories. With basic strength alone, these warrior level monsters can't withstand his spear. In the blink of an eye, a large number of monsters were swept some of them exploded, and some were directly swept away and hit the nearby rock wall, and they were dead. To deal with these low-level monsters, Su Mu just chopped melons and chopped vegetables, sweeping all of them in the blink of an eye. In the next second, Su Mu landed steadily on a platform, with hot magma under his feet, and roars of beasts coming from around him. Swish swish swish. In the blink of an eye, another group of monsters rushed out of the cave in the rock wall and headed straight for Su Mu. In this wave, even martial artist level monsters appeared. Su Mu was still unafraid, 
he raised his gun and waved it, and the combat skill of Rainstorm Pear Blossom was unleashed, covering the whole area in an instant. Bang bang bang. In the blink of an eye, another bunch of monsters were killed by the guns. A monster at the level of a martial artist has a combat power of millions, but so what, if you meet Su Mu, you will die. After a few breaths, the corpses of the Scarlet Fire Beasts were piled up in front of Su Mu, some of them were of warrior status and some of them were of warrior status. Of course, there are more of them in the warrior realm. He killed at least a hundred of them, and there are also six in the warrior realm. However, the general level red fire beast marked on the map still did not appear. Gurgling gurgling. At this moment, huge bubbles suddenly appeared in the magma below the platform, and the bulge was visible to the naked eye. Not long after, a red fire beast emerged from the lava, bigger and stronger than the one he had seen before. This huge red fire beast, with two small blood red eyes, is staring at Sumu as if full of hatred. The general level red fire beast finally appeared. Roar. In the next second, this general level red fire beast shot up from the magma in an instant, splashing a large amount of magma everywhere. Sumu frowned, moved the spear, and stabbed out instantly. The Rainstorm Pear Blossom Spear can attack in groups or kill alone. At this moment, countless spear points emerged, covering the Scarlet Fire Beast in an instant. There was a hint of doubt in the small eyes of the Red Fire Beast. Before it could react, the figure of Su Mu appeared again, stabbing out with a spear. Boom! The Scarlet Fire Beast suddenly raised its front paw and slapped Su Mu's spear point. But in the next second, the spear shot by Su Mu directly turned into a phantom, and a phantom facing the red fire beast's eyes instantly solidified and stabbed out instantly. Puff! The spear went directly into the eye socket of the scarlet fire beast. The scarlet fire beast just struggled for a while, then its breath dissipated and fell down. Boom! The huge corpse brought up a large amount of magma again. The general level monster was killed by Su Mu's gun. Then Su Mu shook his head slightly. A general level monster is nothing more than that. Of course, he didn't dare to take it too seriously, this is just a general level monster for the first time, there are even stronger general level monsters in the third ring, even those in the ninth level. To deal with monsters that have just entered the general level, he is naturally easy to catch. His current combat power is as high as more than 15 million, and it is naturally very easy to deal with monsters that have a combat power of 10 million. Soon, according to what Chen Yanan said, Su Mu recorded the information of the monster he had just killed. He couldn't take these monster beast corpses away, although they were all expensive. After he recorded the information, he could not only directly calculate his military achievements, but also send the location information back to the barracks. Naturally, some soldiers would come to clean the battlefield and take away the corpses of these monsters. You must know that the pills used by warriors, even armor weapons, and the blood of monsters used in the cultivation of warriors and generals later, many of them come from these monsters. Eventually, Su Mu left the magma cave. Su Mu glanced at the map, determined the next target and went away in an instant. At the same time, Zhou Han and Fang Junyan are teaming up to deal with a general level monster with difficulty. It seems that there is no time to deal with this general level monster. Even this is a monster that has just entered the general level. After all, the strength of both of them is only 3 or 4 million. It is not easy to be inseparable from a general level monster. Time passed quickly, Su Mu continued to hunt and kill general level monsters. Regardless of the strength of these general level monsters, Su Mu will fight with all his strength, and he can finally display his combat power to his heart's content. With the battle, Su Emu's combat experience and skills are rapidly improving. This is really a good exercise opportunity. Of course, Su Mu didn't forget to try to use the Phantom Beast Skulls to assist in the battle. This Phantom Beast Skull can create illusions, although it does not cause direct damage, it has a great auxiliary effect. Later, Su Mu could even kill a general level monster with one shot without using Rainstorm Li Hua's virtual reality transformation. This is the phantom effect created by the phantom skull. Of course, creating illusions consumes his own mental power. Su Mu has also tried it. He uses the skulls of phantom beasts to create illusions, confusing these monsters whose mental power is not as strong as his, and it can last for a quarter of an hour at most. A quarter of an hour may seem short, but it is actually very long. 
such a long time is long enough for Su Mu to kill the opponent countless times. Su Mu is adapting to the skyrocketing strength, adapting to new fighting methods and techniques. Soon, the sky gradually darkened, and Su Mu beheaded the last general level monster. Boom, the huge body of the monster fell to the ground in an instant, and it was actually torn apart, and finally turned into hot magma flowing. On the spot, only a pile of blood and a fiery red crystal the size of a grain of rice remained. Su Mu frowned slightly, this was the first time he encountered such a situation. The monstrous beast that he killed just now was called the Giant Lava Beast, and it was simply a strange race that lived in magma. The Giant Lava Beast he killed before was also turned into magma after being killed, leaving only a pool of blood. But this general level monster actually left behind a small piece of crystal-like thing. Out of curiosity, Su Mu picked it up. It was extremely hot to touch, if not for his strong body strength, he would have been directly burned. Before Su Mu looked at the fiery red crystal carefully, his eyes widened in the next second. Collecting progress of mortal fires. 0.00001% Perfect quenching progress. 0.00001% Tenth quenching. In an instant, Su Mu became excited, his eyes sparkled with incomparable excitement. Is it finally here? The tenth tempering of Ganching requires different fires. Su Mu took a deep breath and forcibly suppressed the shock in her heart. His guess was correct, as expected, there was still a tenth body quenching, and the ordinary blood BFDC energy couldn't complete the tenth time at all, it needs to be concentrated to complete it. Different fire, this is the first time Su Mu has heard of it, but it is obviously a good thing. Now the rice-sized crystal in his hand has completely disappeared. As his consciousness entered the sea of consciousness, he discovered a very small flame lying quietly in the sea of consciousness. Is this the strange fire? Su Mu was very excited, he hunted a lot of monsters this day, and the country should have a lot of them. But the biggest gain is this little strange fire. It's just this little strange fire, but it made him see the opportunity to complete the perfect body tempering, that is, the tenth tempering. Collect different fires and complete the tenth body quenching. Su Mu quickly made up his mind to give up breaking through to the martial master realm for the time being, and to complete the perfect body tempering instead. The fast forward progress shows that the tenth tempering that no one knows is a perfect body tempering, obviously this is the limit of body tempering. This is the real way. Su Mu even wondered if the reason why extreme fighters could not break through to the level of generals was because they hadn't really reached the limit. Li Qingfeng said that most of the martial artists who pursued the ultimate path stayed in the general realm, and only he broke through to the Marquis realm because of the king of the Tang dynasty forcibly washing his marrow and pouring his body. That is to say, if I really reach the limit every step of the way, I shouldn't be restricted, and I won't stay in the general realm. Su Mu was very excited, different fires are rare, obviously not any giant lava beast can be born. But since there is such a trace of strange fire in the body of a giant lava beast, it means that there may be a natural strange fire in this area, otherwise how could this monster be contaminated with strange fire? The next goal is to find the different fire. Hunting monsters and searching for strange fires became his most important task next. If he successfully collects the complete strange fire, he is expected to quench his body for the tenth time. Then, seeing that the sky was getting dark, Su Mu also retreated to the second ring road and found a relatively safe cave to hide. This is the wild, the world of monsters, especially at night, when monsters are active, hunting monsters at night can easily cause monsters to riot and besiege, which is extremely dangerous. Even though Su Mu has never hunted monsters before, he still has basic common sense. Resting in a cave Su Mu is not idle. He took out the token and checked today's harvest. His military merits are recorded on the token. Su Mu stuck it on his forehead, and a message entered his brain in the next second. Su Mu, military merit, 1960-1960 existing cumulative points, rank, commander-in-chief. This is what he gained in one day, from having no military merit at all to nearly 2,000 military merit points now. Su Mu also compared the number of monsters hunted and killed in his own memory, and the calculation of military merit was correct. According to the information given by Chen Yaonan, because all the warriors of the Tang dynasty implement the rank system of military merit. Ordinary soldiers have less than 10 points of military merit. 
10 points of military merit are promoted to Shichang, 100 points are promoted to Centurion Commander, 1000 points are promoted to Thousand Commander, and 10,000 points are promoted to 10,000 Commander. 100,000 as Partial General, 1 million Miscellaneous Generals, 10 million Titled Generals, 100 million as Four Town Generals, and 1 billion as the highest rank, Great General. To obtain military merit, one must either hunt monsters, aliens, and demon cultivators alone, or participate in missions and battles. Hunting and killing monsters, the monsters in the warrior realm have one point at the first level, until 59 points of military merit. For monsters in the martial arts realm, 10 points for the first level and 90 points for the ninth level. And so on. Su Mu, there are quite a few monsters killed in this day, more than 100 at the warrior level, about 20 at the warrior level, and 6 at the general level. In one day, he gained nearly 2,000 military merits. And this is just military merit, and military merit can be purchased in the Detang Mansion for cultivation resources. However, after the corpses of monsters he hunted were transported back by the warriors of the monster suppressing army, they would be converted into money and given to him. After learning about the situation, Su Mu murmured, I don't know how much military merit those two guys have now. He was also very curious about how strong these two strongest Tianjiao of the Tang Mansion were. At the same time, Zhou Han and Fang Junyan also found a cave to hide and rest in the second ring of the Land of Fire. The two were still injured, but no one cared. At this moment, the two separated and sat cross-legged to adjust their cultivation. Today, the two of them teamed up to kill the general-level monster, but in the end they still failed to kill the general-level monster, and ended up with both of them dying and fleeing. There is no way, the military commander-level monsters have tens of millions of combat power, and it is really not something they can kill with 3 to 4 million combat power. Under the pressure, the blood of the two increased again, but of course it was still very little. But thinking about it, as long as you do it a few more times, there should be hope that the basic chi and blood will continue to improve. Every Tianjiao and evildoer has his own obsession. Like Su Mu, his obsession is to pursue the perfect tempered body. Like the two evildoers in front of them, their obsession is to raise the basic blood to their limit, 100,000 cards. Time passed quickly, and the next morning, Su Mu left early for the third ring road. Today he has a new plan. Hunting monsters will naturally remain the same, but he doesn't want to slowly kill low level monsters in the warrior realm, and he doesn't even bother to kill warrior level monsters. He just stared at the general's killing at the first stage. Because, in addition to killing monsters to gain military merits and improve combat experience and skills, he also has an important purpose to find the location of the strange fire. Of course, many monsters live in groups, and it is not easy to kill the strongest general in a group of monsters without killing the other monsters. But that's for others, Su Mu now has a phantom beast skull, so it's easy to kill general level monsters solo. Soon, Su Mu entered the third ring, which was still yesterday's route, but passing by the place where Zhou Han and Fang Junyan jointly killed the general level monster yesterday, Su Mu hesitated and went to take a look. As a result, Su Mu discovered that the monster was still there. Su Mu curled her lips, the two of them couldn't join forces kill. In the next second, Su Mu's phantom beast skull illusion activated, instantly covering the general level monster, and then Su Mu shot, stabbed out. Puff, Su Mu took a drop of blood to record the information, and left in an instant. From discovering the monster, to killing it, and then leaving, it took just one breath and it was over. This is the strength of Su Mu now. Combined with the Phantom Beast Skull, it is not too easy to kill a general level first level monster with tens of millions of combat power. Not long after Su Mu left, Zhou Han and Fang Junyan came together again. Brother Zhou, do you have confidence in trying to kill this beast today? Brother Fang has confidence, how can I be timid, I will not give up until I kill this beast today. Ha ha ha, good, let's do it like this. Because of yesterday's battle, the chi and blood that hadn't increased for a long time increased slightly. Today, the two are full of confidence and are ready to consume this general level monster. But in the next second, when the two arrived near the monster beast's lair, they were stunned. The monster is still there, but it has turned into a corpse. The faces of the two of them turned black, and they almost wanted to vomit blood. It was hard to find a single general level monster with similar strength. 
I wanted to use this monster to sharpen their blood, but, it passed overnight and was killed. Fang Junyan frowned and came closer to check, and finally came to a conclusion, I just died not long ago. Could it be that some powerful demon suppressing army passed by and killed it? The two would not think that it was Su Mu who did it. Their understanding of Su Mu was still at the point where they couldn't even enter the third ring, otherwise they would not have reminded Su Mu to go back to the second ring when they met yesterday. The powerful monster suppressing army usually don't come out alone to hunt monsters, and they go out in groups if they want to act. But occasionally there will be exceptions. Some strong people will kill them if they encounter them on the way. Next, the two had no choice but to take out the map and prepare to practice with a monster. Not long after, the two rushed to the location of the second monster with the rank of new general, but they were stunned again. There is also a corpse of a monster lying here, and the corpse is still hot, obviously just killed. Now the two were a little restless, who is so idle? No, if you are really strong in the monster suppressing army, you don't know that the last month has been a training camp. They want to kill monsters in the middle and late stages of generals. Why do you start with monsters that have just entered the general level? The two of them had already discovered something was wrong, and it was obviously not the work of some strong demon suppressing army. Who is so idle that he comes here to hunt and kill monsters who have just entered the general level? Moreover, the monster suppressing army knows that there is a training camp for freshmen from the Tang Wufu recently. The main content of the training camp is to hunt and kill monsters. If they kill all of them, how can they train? The two of them continued to change places with bewildered faces. Not long after, in the third position, the two of them were completely stunned. Another corpse of a general level monster. Still warm. Obviously, there was a person in front of them, taking the same route as them, and the goal was the same, to hunt and kill monsters who had just entered the general level. Moreover, the opponent's strength is very strong, and almost all of them are instant kills, otherwise they should be able to catch up quickly. Brother Joe, do you think you will also be a student participating in this training camp? Suddenly, Fang Junyan said this. Hearing this, Joe Han shook his head directly, impossible. This year's training camp, who has this strength? But before he finished speaking, Fang Junyan took a deep breath, could it be Su Mu? He, impossible. Joe Han still shook his head. Even if his strength has increased a lot, he only has 3 million combat power at most, and he can quickly kill general level monsters. Don't be kidding. But Fang Junyan frowned fiercely, and no one passed on the news to them. They didn't know the specifics about Su Emu's current strength. But apart from the two of them, which other student has the strength to kill a general level monster? It is impossible for the two of them to kill the general level monster so quickly. Just when the two of them were in a daze, their tokens vibrated in the next second. Naturally, this token is the same as the one Su Mu took, and it is the identity token of the warriors of the Tang dynasty. Tokens can not only record information, but also transmit information. Of course, the efficiency of transmitting information in the wild is not high. Then, the two picked up the tokens at the same time to check. Seeing this, the two of them widened their eyes at the same time, and exclaimed in unison, impossible. Because both of them received messages with similar content. Both of them are the top talents of their respective families. Naturally, their clansmen will also pass on news to them in this intensive training class, but the efficiency of news transmission in the wild is not high. Zero. Sometimes if you are lucky, you can receive messages one after another. If you are not lucky, it is normal to receive messages every few days. Therefore, the news they received today actually happened the day before yesterday. The content they received was exactly about Su Mu. Su Mu, almost killed Captain Sun. One person robbed everyone. The eyes of the two were incomparably the same, and they were both shocked. Captain Sun and the others knew each other, and they had come to look for them before and told them about Su Mu. Sun Junwu is the captain of Chen Yaonan's guards and his deputy. He has just entered the realm of generals. Now, someone told them that Su Mu almost killed Captain Sun. Joe Han was full of black lines, he also reminded Su Mu yesterday to let Su Mu go back to the second ring road, saying that the third ring road is not where Su Mu should go. But he didn't expect that Su Mu already had more than 10 million fighting strength, and he could kill the strong generals. Then, Fang Junyan took a deep breath, 
the person in front seems to be really this guy. Both of them are about to collapse. It's just not 100% sure yet, but it can almost be deduced that the one in front is Su Mu. However, neither Zhou Han nor Fang Junyan wanted to believe it was true. They are the strongest among this year's students, they are rivals, they cherish each other, now Su Mu suddenly appears, far surpassing them, how can they bear it? Also at this moment, the token vibrated again. The two picked it up and received the message again, and their faces turned completely dark for a long time. The information this time is not about Su Mu alone, but the update of the Detang Qianlong list. Detang Qianlong list. Su Mu, the first place, has accumulated 1960 points of military merit, ranks as a commander, and has the strongest record in killing several monsters at the rank of a general. The second place Zhou Han, accumulated 750 points of military merit, the rank of Centurion, the strongest record and Fang Junyan teamed up to defeat the general level first level monster. Fang Junyan, the third place, has accumulated 720 points of military merit, the strongest combat skills of the rank Centurion, and Johan teamed up to defeat the generals and unify the heavy monsters. The fourth place is Chen Yunxi. In the updated Detang Qianlong list, the top three changed again. The top three no longer record blood, strength, combat power and other data. It is the military exploits and achievements recorded. Su Mu, with nearly 2,000 military merits, has a rank relationship. Zhou Han and Fang Junyan in the back have been hunting monsters in the wild from the beginning, but their military skills are not as high as Su Mu. 150 0. Su Mu has more in one day than the two of them put together. The other is the record, Su Mu killed several general-level monsters. But Zhou Han and Fang Junyan, but the combination of the two is the best way to fight against the general level monsters, not to kill them. The gap between the two sides is obvious. At this moment, both Zhou Han and Fang Junyan's faces were ashen. By now, there was no longer any doubt, Su Mu was ahead of them. But Zhou Han is still unwilling to accept. I do not believe. Zhou Han took a deep breath, and suddenly speeded up to the next place where there was a general level first level monster. Then, Fang Junyan also followed. Not long after, in a valley, Zhou Han and Fang Junyan's eyes widened, watching Su Mu easily kill a general-level monster with a single shot. Zhou Han and Fang Junyan were completely silent. Hearing is believing, seeing is believing, now you have to believe if you don't believe it. After Su Mu killed the monster, he frowned and looked at the two of them, what's the matter? Fang Junyan shook her head in embarrassment, it's nothing, I just happened to pass by. Su Mu then nodded and walked away. Su Mu left, and the two of them hadn't recovered from the shock. Whether the information passed to them by others before, or the update of the list later, are all indirect information, but just now, they saw it with their own eyes. Su Mu killed a general level monster in just one breath, and the general level monster had no resistance at all, and was instantly killed by one blow. What a force! Zhou Han was once number one on the Qianlong list, so arrogant, he never thought that anyone could surpass him, not even Fang Junyan. But now, he is completely desperate. Su Mu, so strong that people despair. The most important thing is that Su Mu has just made a move, and the fluctuation of qi and blood is obviously only at the martial artist level, and has not broken through to the martial artist level. This is the most depressing place. Fang Junyan was a little better, but not much better, until Su Mu left, both of them looked extremely ugly. In the end Zhou Han raised his head and cupped his fists at Fang Junyan. Brother Fang, I'm sorry, I can't continue hunting monsters with you, I want to go back to the camp for retreat. With a breakthrough in retreat, he is not going to continue to improve his basic qi and blood. Now only by breaking through to the martial master realm can he regain his dignity. Only when he reaches the martial artist state can he have a chance to stand up, otherwise Su Emu's tens of millions of fighting power, he will never be able to achieve it in the martial artist state. Just so hopeless. But upon hearing this, Fang Junyan also nodded, I'll go too. In an instant, the two retreated and went straight to the training camp. Because of Su Mu, they all gave up on continuing to improve the basic qi and blood, because it was useless. What's the point of raising the base qi and blood to 100,000? Still nothing in front of Su Mu. Only by breaking through the martial arts realm can they have a chance to compete with Su Mu. The number one battalion of the demon suppressing army, 
with the update of the Qianlong ranking, is boiling again. Su Mu had only left for a day, and many students thought they would be able to clean up, but now they caused shocking waves because of Su Mu again. Su Mu actually far surpassed Zhou Han and Fang Junyan, and went directly to the top of the Qianlong list. That's what it should be. His fighting power is so perverted. How can the two of them compare to him if they don't break through to the martial master realm? How did he cultivate? Is nine training really so strong? Soon, Su Mu's old background was dug out again. Have you heard? Su Mu may be a disciple of King Tang. As far as I know, it is almost impossible to quench the body more than seven times without going to extremes. What kind of exercises did Su Mu practice? If it's not the purple qi coming from the east, then it can only be the Wuji Jing. Su Mu's identity as a disciple of King Tang was raised again. In addition, some people have guessed that Su Mu is very likely to follow the ultimate way, and what he cultivates is not the heavenly level Kung Fu method of Zichi Donglai, but the extreme Kung Fu method of Wu Ji Jing. This is also understandable. Only an evildoer who has gone to extremes can have such terrifying combat power in the warrior realm. Everyone has not forgotten that the glory of the great Tang Wu Fu Jidao Academy. A group of generals can actually cross the huge gap between refining and practicing qi, and directly kill Waho by leapfrogging. This incident caused an uproar in the world. It's a pity that in the evildoers of the Jidao Academy headed by Li Qingfeng back then, except for Li Qingfeng who spent a huge price to break through Marquis Wu after the king of Tang dynasty washed his marrow, no one broke through. Later, because of the battle in the catacombs, all the evildoers who went to extremes were lost. Speaking of this, everyone regrets. Is he really going the extreme way? What a pity. Such an evildoer can only cultivate to the general level. Sigh. Ji Dao has been proven to be unable to break through the ranks of generals, even Li Qingfeng, with the help of King Tang, was only lucky enough to break through Marquis Wu, and then he could no longer advance an inch. This is also the reason why Li Qingfeng tried his best to prevent Su Mu from learning Wu Jijing. But it's a pity, it's a pity, and it doesn't affect the shock of everyone. In just one day, Su Mu killed several general-level monsters in a row, his terrifying power was undoubtedly revealed, and it was only logical that he topped the list of hidden dragons. For a while, Su Mu once again became the focus of everyone's discussion. Chen Yaonan naturally heard all kinds of discussions, and he sneered at the words of the disciples of the King of Tang Dynasty. Others don't know, but he still has some understanding. For the past year, the King of Tang Dynasty has been sitting in the cave, and he has no time to move around. But when it comes to the extreme way, he frowned, it would be a pity if we really follow the extreme way. A martial artist who walks the extreme path, that one is not a peerless evildoer. But the road of 0.0 has long been proven to be a dead end. If it's true, it's best to persuade him to practice the exercises again. Chen Yaonan shook his head, this is not his business, more than 20 days later, after the training camp is over, Su Mu will step into the Tang Marshal Mansion. Su Mu, who has already reached the top of the Qianlong list, has naturally attracted the attention of the mentors of the Tang Wufu. Su Mu's matter, there are naturally others to worry about. Not long after, Zhou Han and Fang Junyan Chichi, who hadn't shown up all this time, returned to the training camp. But after the appearance of the two people who should have attracted much attention, they did not cause much disturbance. Because everyone's attention is now on Su Mu, these two have not broken through to the martial artist realm, so naturally they are not the focus of everyone. This scene caused the two of them to collapse even more. When they returned to the camp, they greeted Chen Yaonan, and went to find a place to retreat. Both of them said that within the next few days, they will never send them off unless they break through to the martial master realm. In fact, it wasn't just Zhou Han and Fang Junyan who were greatly stimulated and chose to retreat to attack the realm of martial arts. The others were also greatly stimulated, and they practiced like crazy one by one. On the second day after Zhou Han and Fang Junyan retreated, and Su Mu continued hunting monsters in the wild to find traces of the strange fire, which was also the fourth day of the training camp, Chen Yunxi completed her body tempering and chose to retreat. On the seventh day of the training camp, the Wang siblings also chose to retreat. On the ninth day of the training camp, Xu Junfeng chose to retreat. So far, Dragon Camp Class 1, 
the top seven students on the Qianlong list, except for Su Mu, have all reached the ninth level consummation and began to retreat to attack the martial artist. At this moment, Su Mu has been wandering in the wild for several days. Hunting and killing generals and monsters of the first level every day can increase the military merit by almost 2,000 points every day. On the ninth day, which was also the day when Xu Junfeng retreated, Su Emu's accumulated military merits reached 12,080 points, and he was ranked as commander-in-chief. Also on this day, Su Mu has collected a little bit of Mie from several monsters in succession. Collecting Progress of Mortal Fires 0.00008% Perfect quenching progress. 0.00008% tenth quenching. The progress of the tenth tempering of the body is almost in sync with the progress of collecting 15 different fires, that is to say, after the collection of different fires is completed, the body will also complete the last tempering. Therefore, Su Mu is sure to win this strange fire. After beheading a lone general level monster again, Su Mu took out the military map given by Chen Yunxi and began to mark several points. These points are the locations of the monsters he collected from the different flames. Soon, Su Mu marked these points. On closer inspection, these points seem to be irregular and not on a straight line. But connecting two points, three points, and finally the extension lines of these connecting lines all intersect at one point. Su Mu looked towards the point where the final extension line intersected, which was originally a marked point on the map. It is marked in bright red, Fire Concentrate Graves Jedi. There is also a simple description next to it. Fire Concentrate is an excellent material for refining weapons. Even the king of the Tang Dynasty once came here to collect Fire Concentrate to make weapons. But this place is also a Jedi, where even monsters cannot survive because the temperature is too high. People who have gone in and explored have almost died, and it is completely a warrior's tomb, so it is called the Mining Essence Mining Area. Seeing this introduction, Su Emu's eyes brightened. The fire concentrate or tomb is rich in fire concentrate, and the temperature gets higher as it goes in. Isn't this because of the strange fire inside? Su Mu didn't hesitate any longer, and after quickly confirming the location of the fire concentrate grave, he went directly to the fire concentrate grave. Of course, the grave of the fire concentrate is already inside the third ring. Although there are no monsters inside the fire essence mine tomb, it does not mean that there are no monsters outside. Fortunately, Su Emu's mental power is not weak now, and her sensory ability is also very strong. He couldn't beat the powerful general level monsters, but he could also avoid them. As Su Mu went deep into the third ring, a looming figure in the void behind him also followed. What is this little guy doing? This person was naturally arranged by Chen Yaonan to ensure Su Emu's safety. He has never shown himself because Su Mu has never been in any danger. But now, he had to follow closely, because Su Mu who had been wandering around the outside of the third ring before actually ran to the inside of the third ring. There may be dangers there, military commander level 2 or 3, or even 9 levels may be encountered. Not long after, Su Mu bypassed the powerful general-level monsters that he might encounter on the road, and finally a hole appeared in front of him. Just at the entrance of the cave, Su Mu could feel the terrifying high temperature coming out of it. Is this the fire concentrate tomb? Su Mu murmured. This is a Jedi, needless to say it is dangerous, Su Mu also hesitated. But soon, he gritted his teeth and stepped into the cave. As soon as he entered, a figure quickly fell from the entrance of the cave. This is a middle-aged man, and he is the deputy commander of the 1st Battalion of the Junyao Army, Meng Haisheng, a strong man in the Marquis of Wu, who was ordered to follow Su Mu to protect his safety. He came quickly, and his face became ugly as soon as he fell down. Oops, why is this fool so hard to think about? This is a Jedi, not to mention Su Emu's small warrior realm, even a Waho like him, even a warrior-like Commander Chen Yaonan would have to escape death if he enters, otherwise he would be called a Jedi. Commander Meng's face darkened, and he quickly took out his identity token to send a message to Chen Yaonan. Just kidding, this is a Jedi, and it is no longer something he can solve alone. But the efficiency of token transmission in the wild is very low, so he has no choice but to directly burn a drop of blood to forcibly speed up the efficiency of token transmission. Hum. In the next second, 
the token absorbed the energy of blood essence, and the message was transmitted directly between the vibrations. Then, Commander Meng also stepped into the Jedi. Even if he knew there was danger in it, he had to follow in. If something goes wrong with Su Mu, not only him, but also the demon suppressing army will bear great responsibility. But at this moment, in the fire concentrate mine grave, following Su Emu's stepping in, he found that the light in the cave was not only not dark, but very bright on the contrary. He didn't even go far, and he saw a lot of shining ores, which he thought were the so called fire concentrates. However, the grade of fire concentrate minerals in the periphery must not be high, otherwise they would not have remained until now. Not long after walking, Su Emu's whole body was already reddened by the high temperature, and the skin on her body began to smell burnt. Su Mu frowned, could it be that you just missed it? His eyes are already fiery red, surrounded by fire concentrate, and the temperature will be even higher further forward. With the terrifying strength of his nine forged body, he still can't stop such a high temperature. But just when Su Mu hesitated, a sense of coolness hit him instantly, and his physical discomfort quickly dissipated a lot. Su Emu's eyes lit up, heavenly fire. The little bit of strange fire that had been collected in his body took effect at this moment. In the sea of consciousness, the swaying flames can emit waves of energy, which greatly weakens the threat of high temperature to Su Mu. Seeing this, Su Mu took another deep breath and continued to go deeper. Not long after Su Mu left, a figure with a burning body also came to where he was just now. This person is officially Commander Meng, and he is about to collapse. He has reached this position, and he can't bear it anymore. He still can't find Su Mu. Su Mu, come back. Commander Meng roared, he didn't dare to go any further, he would be melted by the high temperature if he went any further. Unfortunately, it was quiet inside, and there was no response at all. As a last resort, Commander Meng could only withdraw. At the entrance of the cave, Commander Meng came out and managed to extinguish the terrifying flames on his body, but it was already described as extremely miserable. Then, the token also vibrated, and he received the news that it was Chen Yaonan who returned. Just one sentence, hold the entrance of the cave and wait for support. At the same time, the face of Chen Yaonan, the first battalion of the monster suppressing army, changed drastically. Today is the last day of training and starting tomorrow, everyone will go out to hunt monsters. He is arranging with several other deputy commanders to hunt monsters tomorrow. Following several Tianjiao's seclusion, Su Mu went out to hunt monsters, the training camp was quiet for a few days, but on the last day of the training camp, something happened, and it was Su Mu. There was no other way, Chen Yaonan had no choice but to hand over the matter at hand to the other deputy commanders, and rushed to the grave of the fire concentrate mine in the third ring alone. This fool really doesn't give me a brow. While hurrying, Chen Yaonan complained. What a troublemaker, making trouble again. While complaining, he was also worried, Su Mu must not have an accident, and now there are many bigwigs in the Detang mansion who are eyeing Su Mu. Needless to say, after the training camp is over, there will definitely be competition from various academies of the Tang Wufu. It doesn't matter what extreme path Su Mu may walk, he is only a martial artist, and there is still time to change his skills. Nine exercises and nine levels, with such a solid foundation, it is no problem to practice any other exercises. And because the foundation is extremely solid, not only will it not be affected by other cultivation methods, but it will get twice the result with half the effort, and the future achievements will be limitless. Recently, he has received many inquiries about Su Emu's situation. Even his father, who is one of the top martial masters in Detang Mansion and one of the five major army generals, the general of the demon suppressing army, personally asked him about Su Emu's situation. Su Mu Thing and his father also made it clear that if possible, it is not impossible to keep Su Mu in the Junyao army. Of course, just to say that, these evildoers rarely stay in the Legion directly. But Su Mu, who is favored by many bigwigs, if something goes wrong in his hands, it will be a big deal. Besides, inside the Fire Essence Mind Tomb, Su Mu simply summoned that little bit of flame, just holding it in the palm of his hand. With this little bit of strange fire, he went deep into the fire concentrate mine tomb again, and Su Mu himself didn't know how much he went deep. As it went deeper, the temperature became higher and higher, 
and even the fire concentrate that can be seen everywhere began to decrease, and the ground was no longer solid, but liquid. There is a big melting pot inside, as if it can accommodate everything. But the more it was like this, the more soon you believed that there must be a strange fire inside, otherwise, where would this terrifying high temperature come from? After walking another distance, Su Emu's whole body is still smoking even with the strange fire protection, as if he will be completely incinerated into ashes in the next second. Do you just give up like this? Su Mu shook her head unwillingly, and took a few steps again. In the next second, Su Emu's eyes suddenly opened up, and a wide underground hall appeared in front of the passage, and there were glowing red colors everywhere molten fire concentrates are everywhere and in the center of the hall, a white flame swayed slowly, looking extremely coquettish. There is no doubt that this is the so-called different fire body. But Su Mu didn't dare to move at all. Because apart from the terrifying high temperature from the strange fire in this hall, there is actually another person. No, a head to be precise. The reason why it is called human is that it can still be vaguely distinguished that it is a human head. But the strange thing is that in the next second, a pair of empty eyes on this head turned to look at Su Mu. Wrong. Rice. A piercing laughter came out, and Su Mu was terrified, and instantly backed up. But after retreating a few steps, Su Mu stopped. The other party did not chase after him. He frowned slightly and calmed down. Apparently the person couldn't leave the place at all. Su Da never imagined that there was a person inside, no, a head, and it was obvious that the other person was not dead yet. What kind of strong man is this, who was not burned to ashes beside the terrifying strange fire, only his head remained alive. And that strange fire happened to be burning on top of his head. While Su Mu is observing the other party, the other party is also observing Su Mu. At this moment, the skull-like head actually spoke again. Come here, little guy, this old man will give you a fortune. Hearing this, Su Mu was even more sure that the other party could not leave the place, so she became bolder and walked directly into the hall. Of course, Su Mu would not run there foolishly. This head was burned by a strange fire, and there was only one skull left in the whole body, so it didn't die. How strong is it? It's not the king realm, I'm afraid it's not far from the king. This is the top existence in this world. Moreover, it is obvious that the other party is not a good person. Give yourself a gift. When Su Mu is a fool, Su Mu turned around the head and the head followed suit. Don't be afraid, little guy, come here, the old man really has a blessing for you. The voice continued to come, but Su Mu still didn't respond. After turning around, he probably had a judgment and grinned. Senior is really lucky. He he, that is, that old ghost Li Dao Yi couldn't kill me back then, he just forced me into this desperate situation. If the head can have an expression, it must be very proud at this moment. Li Daoyi, that is the name of the king of the Tang dynasty. Being able to be hunted down by the great Tang king without dying is indeed worth showing off. The head continued. The old lady called Yanwo Leomo, come here, I will instill my whole body cultivation into you, anyway, I am going to die soon. Hearing this, Su Mu frowned. He hadn't heard of Yanwo Leomo, but he thought he was not an ordinary person. Maybe it was the magic cultivator from long ago. And he did remember one thing by the name. At the beginning, he cooperated with the city lord Wang Yang to destroy Moxiu, and he personally killed Hei Bo, the owner of the underground boxing hall. In the end, I got a token in Hei Bo's storage ring, with the word Yang Wo on it. Is there any connection with this person? Su Emu's mind was spinning quickly, and he had already come here, so he was naturally unwilling to give up like this. But with this old devil in front of the strange fire, how can he collect the strange fire? Moreover, this strange fire is obviously not easy to collect, even such a terrifying strong man is burned into such a ghost, one can imagine how powerful this okay, strange fire is. Su Mu was still contemplating, but the flame old devil couldn't hold his breath anymore. He stayed in the fire concentrate tomb Jedi for countless years, and finally saw a living person, how could he miss it? The next second, the old devil spoke again. Little guy, like this, it's okay if you don't come here, and help me get some spiritual stones to supplement my consumption. Don't worry, your hard work will not be in vain. Seeing Su Mu's vigilance and knowing that Su Mu is not easy to cheat, the old devil simply made a deal with Su Mu. But before he finished speaking, 
Su Mu shook his head directly. Senior, I'm thinking too much, I'm just a warrior, where did I get the spirit stone? Ling Shi, Su Mu naturally knows that it is a necessary resource for the cultivation of Qi training three realms, how can he get it in the warrior realm? But when Su Mu said these words, several flames burst out of the old devil's head, apparently startled by Su Mu's words. The old devil quickly steadied himself, and finally managed to stabilize himself. Old demon Yanwo was indeed shocked. Martial artist realm, ran to the location of the strange fire in the center of the Jedi. What are you kidding? For so many years, it's not that no one has come to this fire concentrate mine tomb to explore the Jedi, and it's possible that none of them have come to the core area. Even the great Tang King back then didn't come to the core area, he just blasted him into the core area, and as a result he was infected by the strange fire. Over the years, the King of Tang probably thought he was dead. In fact, he has been entangled with the different fire all these years. The different fire wants to refine him, and he also wants to refine the different fire. By now, he was really at the end of his rope, he was burned to the point where only his skull remained. Fortunately, he had located the Nguyen Palace long ago and had divine consciousness. As long as his consciousness is not extinguished, his body is burned but his consciousness is still there, and as long as he escapes from the strange fire, he can recover his physical body. The little guy is really surprising, warrior realm. The old devil's head was only bones, but he couldn't show his expression, but his voice was full of shock and nostalgia. The martial artist realm seemed too far away from him. And Su Mu thought of a lot following the conversation with the old devil at the moment. His purpose is only one, refining and destroying. But the old devil had to be killed first, otherwise he would have no chance at all. As for whether he would be infected with the strange fire after the old devil died, there was a high probability that he would. But Su Mu is not afraid, because a little strange fire has already condensed in his body, and he has the fast forward function. Fast forward infinitely, as long as his refining speed is fast enough, and the refining is completed before the strange fire burns him to death, then there is no danger. Of course, if you are afraid, you will be afraid, as soon as he touches the strange fire, he will be turned into ashes. But soon, soon you thought of the Udemon's skull again. Can this thing keep his consciousness immortal at critical moments? If the consciousness is not destroyed, even if the body is destroyed for a moment, he still has hope. These are the two biggest problems Su Mu faces in collecting different fires. While Su Mu was thinking wildly, the old devil spoke again. How about this, you can help me get some other resources, blood essence. Forget it, where does the blood essence come from in the warrior realm, is there always a body tempering pill? He only needs energy now, even the body tempering pill used by the warrior, as long as there is energy, he can recover, it's just a matter of how much it recovers. Su Mu grinned. Let's talk about the benefits first. The old devil's skull trembled slightly, almost causing flames to burst out again. But then, he still said. Don't worry, the benefits are indispensable to you, I really won't lie to you. Su Mu curled her lips. Could it be that senior thinks I'm blind? When the old devil heard this, his head trembled again. He only has a head left now, and there is really nothing on his body that can give Su Mu. As for imparting martial arts and combat skills, or even directly instilling cultivation bases and so on, they are all deceitful, obviously Su Mu will not be fooled. The old devil continued. Listen, I really have benefits for you. Back then, I already knew that Li Daoyi was going to surrender my Yanwo demon sect, so I kept my back. I left a few disciples behind. They are not strong, not talented, and not eye-catching, but they are all good at doing business. They are doing business formally, so they won't be exposed so easily. Their business income will be kept in a small secret place. According to the old man's plan, the day I get out of trouble is the time when I will become a king. At that time, I can use these resources to build another big mansion. Who can stop me then? Speaking of these, even though there was only one head left, the old devil was still full of vigor, and a burst of flames even burst out from the eyes of the two skeletons. I don't know if it was because I was too excited to be burned by the strange fire or something else. The old devil continued. Now, as long as you are willing to help me, even if you get some body tempering pill, I can make you a token on the spot, a token that can enter my little secret realm. Don't worry, 
I have never exposed this little secret realm, Li Daoyi will never find it. This condition is generous enough, that is, tell Su Mu that even if he is only given a little body tempering pill, he will give Su Mu the token to enter the small secret realm, and the resources in it can be used by Su Mu. Hearing these words, Su Mu frowned slightly. It would be a lie to say that she was not moved, but Su Mu would not believe it all. What's more, if there is a small secret realm that needs a token to enter, he doesn't even need the old devil to give him the token. Because he has it in hand. In the next second, Su Mu directly took out the BFEA flame token from the storage ring. Is this what the senior said? The old devil was sure that Su Mu would agree, but the next second, when he saw the token in Su Mu's hand, his head suddenly trembled. Boom! In an instant, flames rose up, and the old devil's skull was instantly enveloped in flames. After a few breaths, the old devil was finally able to stabilize, and the skull above had been burned and melted a lot. Su Mu frowned slightly. It works. At this moment, he already has a preliminary method to deal with the old devil. Zun Ha is now attached to the old devil's bones, so for Su Mu, he doesn't care about temptations or conditions, he only needs a little, and the old devil must die. But after the old devil stabilized himself at this moment, he became obviously angry. Asshole, where did you get this token? Don't worry about it. So, this Haibo is really your disciple. After Su Mu's words fell, the old devil almost exploded because of his emotional excitement. Finally, the old devil stabilized his emotions and looked at Su Mu again. Haibo, which trash warrior is he? He is good at doing business, you killed him. Su Mu nodded. Yes, I killed him, but he is no longer a warrior, but a warrior. The old devil collapsed, and another burst of flames exploded. In the end, the old devil calmed down completely, as if he took a deep breath. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if one of them dies, I have more than one successor. You can't find the small secret place even if you have the token. Su Mu didn't care, and was too lazy to talk nonsense with the old devil. In the next second, he directly summoned the phantom beast skull, and the illusion was activated instantly, covering the old devil directly. Boom! But this illusion was broken in just an instant. But even if it was only for an instant, it had an impact on the old devil, the strange fire exploded again, and cracks even appeared on the old devil's skull. Ah, who the hell are you? How can you use a mental attack? No, it's not your own mental power attack, it's something in your hands. The old devil was startled and angry. Surprisingly, Su Mu was able to attack with mental power, even if he just borrowed something from his hand, which also showed that Su Mu's mental power was not weak. This is too weird, not to mention the warrior state, it is also very difficult for him to use spiritual power to attack the top martial master. The anger is because Su Mu has influenced him time and time again, and now his progress of being refined by different fires has been greatly improved. The old devil almost ran away, but unfortunately he was entangled by the strange fire, so he couldn't separate himself to deal with Su Mu. But Su Mu used the illusion once, but his mental power was exhausted too much, so he could only sit cross-legged to recover, ignoring the angry old devil. His plan is very simple, that is, to use the phantom beast skull illusion to interfere with the old devil, once or twice or three times. If this interference continues, no matter how strong the old devil is, he will be refined by the strange fire sooner or later. At that time, Su Mu went to refine the strange fire. Seeing that Su Mu began to recover his mental strength, the old demon Yanwo quickly calmed down. Boy, don't fool you anymore, use the thing in your hand to save my life, all my backhands are yours, how about it? Su Mu ignored him. The old devil still didn't give up. Then, you don't interfere with me, and you don't have to save me, just get out of here and let me fend for myself, how about it? At this moment, the old devil was a little scared. Yes, an illusion doesn't do much for him, but, it can disturb him. Once or twice, if it continues, he will be constantly disturbed, and sooner or later he will be refined by the strange fire. Su Mu still didn't pay attention, and the old demon Yanwo became anxious. You want to kill me that much? Su Mu opened his eyes and nodded calmly, Moxiu, everyone wants it. Grass, did the demon eat your rice? What happened to the demon? Does the demon have no good people? You think you're an upright gentleman, so you haven't done anything bad. Little guy, 
Do you know what will happen after you kill me? Su Mu nodded once. I know, the strange fire will touch me when you die. Then you still want to kill me. The old devil is going crazy. With this old man around, you can enter this place, otherwise do you think you can still come here alive? Of course, the old devil still doesn't understand how Su Mu did it. Even if the strange fire is entangled with him, the temperature in the fire concentrate tomb is still extremely high, and the non-kingdom realm cannot reach the core area at all. Even Li Daoyi back then didn't dare to step into the core area, so one can imagine how terrifying this strange fire is. And he can persevere until now, it has something to do with his strong mental power, and it has something to do with his training in the fire department. Otherwise, he might not even have scum left now. Su Mu didn't bother to pay attention, and said calmly, then it's none of senior's business. You are the devil, you are the devil, why don't you die? Old devil Yanwo, now he would rather be slowly refined by the strange fire than be tortured to death by a junior. No matter how the old devil Yanwo scolded him, Su Mu didn't bother to talk to him, and continued with his plan to kill the old devil slowly. Time passed quickly, and when Su Mu was competing with Yanwo Leomo, many things happened in the outside world. First of all, after receiving the news that Su Mu had entered the fire concentrate mine tomb, Chen Yanan arrived immediately. He also entered the fire essence mine grave many times, but he always had to exit halfway. Chen Yanan was completely desperate, but he didn't dare to break the news. He will be fine, this fool is very smart, how could he die by himself? Chen Yanan can only comfort himself like this. That's right, he must have discovered some kind of opportunity, maybe he is crazily improving himself at this moment, it must be like this. But that's what he said, but his face was full of despair. I'm afraid Su Mu is really doomed, this is a desperate place, even if he goes deep into it, he will die, not to mention Su Mu is a warrior. But he still didn't want to give up, and stayed at the entrance of the cave, waiting for a miracle to happen. And now, the training time is coming to an end. Johan was the first to go out and successfully broke through the martial arts realm. He condensed 100 drops of blood essence, 1 million qi in blood, and more than 20 million combat power. Then came Fang Junyan, who also condensed 100 drops of blood essence, and her combat power was comparable to that of Johan. The two broke through and went out to hunt monsters again. They were planning to find Su Mu for a fight, but unfortunately there was no trace of Su Mu at all. On the 20th day of the training camp, Chen Yunxi also came out of the customs. At the first level of martial arts, there are dozens of drops of condensed blood, and the combat power has also increased by leaps and bounds, more than 1,000 to nearly 20 million. On the 28th day of the training camp, the Wang siblings also went out, and the same martial arts master's first stage. Soon, on the last day of the training camp, Xu Junfeng stepped out of the customs at the time node, and also successfully broke through the martial artist realm, condensing 50 drops of blood essence. This year's training camp has officially come to an end. The martial arts masters include Zhou Han, Fang Junyan, Chen Yunxi, Wang's siblings, Xu Junfeng, and six people from Japan and the West. This score is no longer weak. When the last day came, Chen Yanan reluctantly left the fire concentrate mine grave and returned to the camp. He still has to preside over the final training ceremony, and he has to give an explanation to all the experts in the Tang Wufu. On this day, all the students participating in the training camp lined up neatly at the school grounds of the number one battalion of the Junyao army. Everyone's strength has made a qualitative leap compared to before the training camp. Especially among the geniuses in class 1, six of them broke through to the martial arts realm. Just as everyone lined up, small black dots appeared in the distance. In the next second, before everyone came back to their senses, these small black dots instantly magnified in everyone's eyes and turned into figures. Ha ha ha, Yaonin, where is Su Mu you mentioned? Ju Duan, this is a Ji Dao martial artist, Old Chen, where is my student? What are you grabbing? Apprenticeship depends on the student's own will. Tisk tisk, a group of old and shameless people, isn't it just a monster? If you don't come to my Zanjiang college, can you be called a monster? In the next second, a group of people instantly appeared above the camp, and their voices rang out. The people who come here are of course the experts from Tang Wufu. They are all here to rob people. The goal is very clear. Su Mu, 
who is number one on the Qianlong list, has nine forging and nine levels, and has a combat power as high as a thousand squares. But hearing these voices, Chen Yaonan's face turned dark. Everyone came to him to ask Su Mu to come, but now Su Mu. See you seniors. Also at this time, many students paid homage to the mentors of Datang Wufu in unison. They have worked hard in training camps and practiced for many years, not for the purpose of being valued by the instructors of Datang Wufu, the top martial arts school in Datang Mansion. Then, many powerhouses floating above the void raised their eyes and glanced at the many students on the ground, nodding in satisfaction one by one. Not bad. There are six people in the martial arts realm. It is indeed much stronger than in previous years, especially when there is such a monster as Su Mu. That's right, I almost forgot how many years there have been no such evildoers. The last time was decades ago. Forget it, don't mention it. While everyone was talking, they looked at Chen Yaonan again. Old Chen, what do you mean? That's right, you're still hiding it at this hour. Could it be that your demon-suppressing army wants to keep such a monster? Chen Yaonan wanted to vomit blood very much, he lowered his head and cupped his hands to the crowd above the void. Everyone, I'm sorry. Hearing this, a group of strong men above the void froze. Chen Yaonan sighed. Dear colleagues, seniors, Yaonan is guilty. He failed to look after Su Mu, he should be, gone. Boom, these words were undoubtedly a bolt from the blue, and everyone's eyes widened. Many students on the ground held their breath in disbelief. Su Mu, that big devil, big ruthless person, just gone. Isn't he hunting monsters in the wild? In the last update of the hidden dragon list, he was still at the top of the list. He died. Although many people hated him, they couldn't believe it when they heard that he had died. And above the void, a group of strong men also frowned. Gone, Yaonan, this joke is not funny. It's not easy for my Tang mansion to produce such a monster, you tell me it's gone. The old man did not hesitate to leave the customs, just to accept such a monster, and create another person who can recruit and fight for our Datang mansion. Now you say he is gone. Chen Yaonan didn't dare to lift his head, and fell asleep again. Yaonan is guilty, and please convey it to the master on your behalf. Yaonan is willing to lead the real estate pioneer, and he will not return it if he fights endlessly. After Chen Yaonan finished speaking, everyone fell silent. Su Mu, a generation of peerless evildoers, just disappeared. All the strong men who came couldn't accept it. Those who came today are all the core figures of the various colleges of the Tang Wufu. The vice president of Zanjung College, the president of the Pill Academy, the president of the Beast Academy, the president of the Weapons Academy, the president of the Kimin Academy, the president of the Catacombs Academy, the president of the Monster Academy, the president of the Jidao Academy. Except for the dean of the school of war who brought senior students to fight in the catacombs, almost all the people in power from the major schools came. Especially Lu Songyuan, the dean of Jidao Academy, who was the lowest among the people present, but his status was not low, heard Chen Yaonan's words, almost fell directly from the sky to the ground. As Li Qingfeng guessed, the extreme Dao Academy has come to the end of the road. There have been no new students for a long time, and he has only one disciple, which is not the path to the extreme. After finally receiving a letter from Li Qingfeng, he learned that someone has practiced the extreme way, and he has been paying attention to Su Mu. Judging from the information obtained during this period, Su Mu may be the hope for the rise of the Chido Academy. But now, Chen Yaonan said, Su Mu is gone. He couldn't accept it. He didn't dare to accept it. Wang Fuzan, vice president of Zanjung College, had a look of regret, what's going on? Chen Yaonan still didn't dare to look up, and told the story with a sigh. Fire concentrate grave Jedi. Hearing this, Lu Songyuan, the dean of Jidao Academy, disappeared in an instant. Needless to say, he naturally went to the fire concentrate mine grave. Immediately afterwards, the remaining strong men also disappeared in a flash. In the blink of an eye, all the strong men who had just arrived at the camp were gone, just because of one Su Mu. Many students lined up neatly in the camp looked at each other in blank dismay. Naturally, they regret that Su Mu is gone, but they are still there. But they seem less important than a dead man. Especially Zhou Han, Fang Junyan and other geniuses, shouldn't they be the ones that many bigwigs should pay attention to? 
But now their status in the hearts of these big bosses in Detang Wufu is not as high as that of Su Mu, a dead man. Suppressing demon army obey orders. The next second, Chen Yanan raised his head and roared. Protect all the students to go to the third ring, the fire essence mine grave. Obey. These bosses have all gone to the fire concentrate mine grave, and Chen Yanan had no choice but to let someone take the students there. And he himself chased after him in a flash. The news about Su Mu brought back by Chen Yanan caused an uproar. Whether it was the deans of the various colleges who just came to take Su Mu away, or the many students, they all felt sorry. Su Mu, though hateful, is also respectable. But Su Mu, at this moment, the last effort is being made in the fire concentrate mine. In front of him, the pale strange fire was still the same, but the old devil Yanwo was almost finished. At this moment, Yanwo only had a piece of skull left on his head, and all other parts were reduced to ashes. Su Emu's plan was successful, and under his constant harassment, Yanwo became like this. Su Mu reckoned that if it happened again, Yanwo would be finished. He was not in a hurry, but was making final preparations. He had to make thorough preparations so that if the old devil died, he would be buried with him. This is a different fire, even the top martial master, the old devil who is one step away from the king, has been refined. Of course, it was the result of years and years, and the old devil Yan Huo must have been seriously injured back then, and even had no idea about this strange fire, so he was infected without checking. Otherwise, an unowned strange fire should not be so terrifying. But this is also very strong. If Su Mu collects the complete abnormal fire, not only can he complete the tenth full body tempering, but also perfect body tempering. From then on, he could have one more trump card. Of course, most of the manipulative fire also requires mental power, and the strength of the different fire is also related to his mental power. But don't say that you can kill the venerable, there is always a threat to Marquis Wu, right? Is it okay to kill a strong general? It can be solved with a single fire, why bother to kill it? Su Mu will never dislike her too many trump cards. Preparation is also divided into several aspects. First of all, there is the phantom beast skull to protect his soul, secondly, there is the refined different flame to resist the fire damage, and finally there is his nine forged body. When Su Mu was planning to kill the old devil for the last time, the weak voice of the old devil sounded again. Boy, I admit defeat, can't I admit defeat? How about saving my life and using your weird skull to take away my spirit? Hearing the voice, Su Mu grinned, no, you'd better die for such an old and immortal devil. As soon as the words fell, Su Mu summoned the phantom beast skull, and the illusion reappeared, instantly covering the old devil. Click. In the next second, the last skull of the old devil was completely burned to ashes. But at this moment, Su Mu was even more nervous, because the strange fire in front of him finally appeared completely, and the next second came straight to him. Su Mu frowned, and forcibly restrained herself from running away. Swish. In an instant, the strange fire fell on him. Su Mu quickly took back the skull of the phantom beast to protect her soul. But at the next moment, as the skull of the phantom beast was taken back to the sea of consciousness of Nguyen Palace, a familiar voice sounded. Jia Jia, boy, you are dead. Su Mu's face changed, but it was too late to do anything else, because the strange fire had already fallen on him, and in the blink of an eye, his whole body was covered in flames, and the terrifying high temperature twisted his whole body and began to melt. Su Mu didn't expect that the old devil finally got into his phantom beast skull at the risk of his final skull being destroyed while he was using the illusion. Ah, Su Mu let out a scream. He didn't even have time to care about the old devil who hid in his sea of consciousness, he concentrated all his energy and clicked to fast forward. In the blink of an eye, the fast forward was clicked to 60,000 times, 120,000 times, and 240,000 times. Boom, in an instant, Su Emu's body ignited monstrous flames, even though he was a nine forged body, he couldn't resist the terrifying flames. But the strange thing is that in the next second, another arm grew out of the completely melted arm. This is a transparent, jade-like arm, crystal clear and flawless. Followed by feet, body, head. Eventually, a fully amerilized Su Mu emerged. Broken and then erected, reborn from the ashes. At this moment Su Mu thought of this sentence. It turns out that this is the limit of body tempering. At this moment, Su Mu finally felt relieved.
Abnormal fire collection progress 100%. Body tempering perfect tempering progress 100%. He really did. Before Su Mu could feel the change in herself, she sensed the movement in the sea of consciousness. In the sea of consciousness, the skull of the phantom beast is still there, but there is a floating flame not far away. The strange fire has entered his sea of consciousness, but at the moment there is no threat to him, even when his consciousness touches, he can only feel high temperature but no burning sensation. The strange fire was successfully refined by him. But Su Emu's focus is on the phantom skull. At this moment, there is a remnant soul in the skull, Huo Tu Mo. Old demon Yanwo can't sense any changes outside, but the voice can come out. Boy, is he dead? Su Mu didn't respond just quietly watching the old devil perform. After waiting for a while, there was no response, and the old devil laughed strangely. Gia Gia, the little guy fights with me, you are still a little tender. You still want to collect different fires. Idiots are dreaming. The old man has been fighting with this strange fire for countless years and still can't refine it. Why do you refine it? Want to kill me? Are you turned into ashes now? It's a pity, a rare good body. Su Mu was plotting against the old devil, and the old devil Yanwo had already planned to plot against Su Mu. What he was waiting for was just this critical moment. He voluntarily gave up the last position, the cranium, and the strange fire emerged, and Su Mu's necessary thoughts were all on him. Only then can he successfully enter the Udemon's skull. He had noticed a long time ago that the phantom beast skull in Su Mu's hand was extraordinary. His physical body was already useless, and now it was appropriate to live in the phantom beast skull. As long as the remnant soul stays alive, sooner or later he will have a chance to recast his body. But just when the old devil Yanwo was proud, the next second the terrifying high temperature hit, and the old devil suddenly screamed. Impossible, the strange fire can't refine this weird skull, how could it burn in? Boy, are you alive? Su Mu grinned, thanks to you, I'm fine. No no no, impossible, the old devil completely collapsed. But Su Mu didn't care so much, he controlled the freshly refined different fire to burn the phantom beast's skull. It is the phantom beast skull that is not afraid of different fires, but the old devil forgot that the phantom beast skull was also refined by Su Mu. So, where can he hide? In the blink of an eye, the last remnants of the old devil began to dissipate. No, the old man is not reconciled, Li Daoyi can't kill me with his own hands, what are you? After the voice fell, the old devil's remnant soul completely dissipated. At this point, Su Mu was completely relieved. At this moment, his whole body is crystal clear, his body is perfectly tempered, and his flesh is like jade. At this moment, Su Mu, as he regained control of his own qi and blood, Ruyu's transparent body gradually regained its blood color and returned to normal. When everything returned to normal, Su Mu was still the same Su Mu, as if nothing had happened. But when Su Mu clenched his fist casually, he felt the terrifying power of qi and blood. Basic blood alone has at least a million calories. Su Mu made an estimate, and even frightened himself. The basic energy and blood broke through a million, something that he didn't even dare to think about, but now it has become a reality. At this moment, he also understands why no one can achieve perfect body tempering. Breaking down and then standing up, rebirth from the ashes, even if others know about it, they may not dare to do it. Su Mu, not only has the skull of the phantom beast, but also at the moment when the strange fire touched his body, any little bit of the strange fire that he had already refined also played a role. Coupled with the strength of his nine forged body, this prevented him from being refined in an instant. Otherwise, changing to any warrior realm, I am afraid that there will be no ashes left. At this moment, the qi and blood in Su Emu's body are so strong that even without using the qi and blood compression method, he can feel that there may be blood essence condensed at any time. But Su Mu is not in a hurry, his body has been perfectly quenched, and it will not be difficult for the next martial artist to coagulate blood. But compressing qi and blood to condense the blood also needs energy. Now even if he condenses the blood, he can't condense too much. It's better to wait until he enters the Datang Wufu and gets the resources. Su Mu is now used to this way of cultivation. That is to get a lot of resources and do it all at once. Either you don't practice, or you have to improve significantly if you want to practice. Now he is not weak, 
even if he is still in the warrior state, but he is in the 10 forging and 10 stage. The basic vitality is over 1 million, plus the combat skill increase combat power is as high as 30 million. This combat power is even able to kill generals in the third level. If you count the two trump cards of the phantom beast skull and the strange fire, the general ninth layer is also expected to be killed. This is the result of his exhausting the old devil these days, it is worth it. Also at this time, at the entrance of the fire concentrate mine tomb, many powerful men from the martial palace of the Tang dynasty gathered here, and all of them looked dignified. Wang Fuzan, vice president of Zanjiang College, sighed. This Jedi was entered ten years ago by the King of Tang after he chased and killed the Flame Demon King. In the end, the Flame Demon King never came out again, and the name of this Jedi has been confirmed. Hearing this, everyone sighed. A Wuzun like Yanwo Demon King is consummated, but the existence has not yet emerged, so where is Su Mu? Yao Nan is guilty. Chen Yaonan looked depressed, and continued to whisper. Okay, Yaonan, I don't blame you for this matter. As a warrior, Su Mu naturally knows what the Jedi represents. If he dares to enter it, he must have the consciousness that he can't get out. Wang Fu shook his head and comforted Chen Yaonan. But at this moment, Lu Song Yuan, the dean of the Jidao Academy who did not give up and went into the cave to investigate, came out, and his brows were slightly frowned. Everyone, do you feel that the temperature seems to be dropping? As soon as these words came out, many strong people around were taken aback. Lu Song Yuan was the lowest level among the many deans present at the scene, only at the military general level, while almost everyone else was at the Wuzun level, and even Wang Fuzan was at the seventh level of Wuzun level. These people are stronger in strength and realm, and their natural sensitivity is also stronger. Therefore, after Lu Song Yuan's words fell, everyone felt the abnormality immediately after feeling it. But after Wang Fuzan felt it for a while, he shook his head. Okay. Temperature changes are normal. The temperature in this Jedi will change. Many students are still waiting for the results of the training camp. Don't delay the business. As he said that, Wang Fuzan took the lead in the sky above the many students who were waiting in line not far away. Students, we deeply regret Su Emu's death, because the family needs to always remember. Before Wang Fuzan could finish speaking, a voice came from the entrance of the cave. Who says I'm dead? Boom. In the next second, the entrance of the fire essence mine tomb exploded, and a figure shot up into the sky. But who else could it be if it wasn't Su Mu? Seeing Su Mu's appearance, Chen Yaonan's eyes widened instantly, and he flew directly to Su Mu's side, raised his hand and slapped it. You are not dead. Boom. Chen Yaonan's slap was directly sent flying by Su Mu. He didn't use much strength at all, but Su Mu's strength soared at this moment, so he flew off his palm easily. But this scene made everyone on the scene stunned. Su Mu knocked off the hand of Wuzun strong Chen Yaonan. But when everyone was still shocked, a group of big shots surrounded Su Mu in an instant. Are you Su Mu? Su Mu, Wang Fuzan, vice president of Zanjiang Academy, has officially invited you to join Zanjiang Academy. Come to my Alchemy Academy, there are plenty of resources. Alchemy is so boring, come to my Arms Academy and personally build a weapon for yourself, won't it look at it? Kai Changeling, Dean of Beastmaster Academy, Old Man, Beastmaster, create your own army of monster beasts. Su Mu, do you want to know the secrets of the catacombs? Come to my catacombs research institute, as long as you break through the general level, you will be a researcher. A group of bosses once again ignored Chen Yaonan's grievance, ignored the many students who were looking forward to them, and all threw olive branches around Su Mu. Chapter 91 Su Mu rushed out from the fire concentrate mine grave, her aura suddenly rising. His appearance surprised everyone. Can anyone actually come out of the fire concentrate graveyard? But a group of bigwigs didn't have time to think about these issues, but they all surrounded Su Mu and started to recruit. Chen Yaonan, whose palm was opened by Su Mu's punch, was caught in the middle of a group of gangsters, at this moment he shook his head in embarrassment and laughed. Yes, the moment he saw Su Mu, he was completely relieved. Su Mu is fine, this is better than anything else, as for fighting for Su Mu, let these guys fight for it. He didn't even bother to mention what his father said, leaving the matter of Su Mu behind. Because he was tired, he really wanted to keep Su Mu, 
he was worried that he would be tortured to death by Su Mu. The training camp lasted for only one month, a little moth a day, and a big thunderstorm in ten days, who the hell could stand it? Or leave it to the guys from Datang Wufu, let Su Mu torment them. Seeing Su Mu appearing, he was immediately surrounded by a group of bosses, and all the students looked extremely complicated. Zhou Han and Fang Junyan couldn't help the qi and blood fluctuations at the moment. They were both aggrieved and helpless, and there was an unavoidable fighting spirit rising. Aggrieved because Su Mu died. Why did it appear again? Unfortunately, once Su Mu appeared, they were really ignored again. At any rate, he is also an evildoer, a martial artist, with tens of millions of combat strength. As for the fighting spirit, it is naturally aimed at Su Mu, and they are not convinced, so why is Su Mu the focus of attention, shouldn't they be the most concerned? In terms of realm, they are already martial masters, and in terms of combat power, they never think that they are weaker than Su Mu. There was another person, Chen Yunxi, with a complicated expression. He was a little relieved that Su Mu was fine, but also gritted his teeth, why doesn't this fool die? Everyone else is also extremely complicated. Su Mu is not dead, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that the death of such an evildoer will be a loss to the Tang Mansion and to them. The bad thing is that Su Mu is not dead, will he have a bright future when he enters the Tang Wufu? At this moment, a group of bigwigs surrounding Su Mu spoke one after another. Wang Fu Zan, vice president of Zanjiang College, waved his hand, it's all fine, the conditions will be raised later, Su Mu, what's the matter? After Wang Fu Zan said this, a group of bigwigs stopped and looked at Su Mu curiously. That's right, you're all right after entering the fire concentrate tomb Jedi. Is there any chance? It's okay, it can be said that we old guys will still rob you. They are really too curious, that is the Jedi of Fire Concentrate Mine Grave. Ten years ago, the king of the Tang Dynasty chased and killed the old devil Yanwo, but failed to enter the core area, but killed the demon Yanwo. Chen Yaonan and Lu Songyuan, the dean of the Jidao Academy, also went in to investigate before, but they didn't dare to go too deep. But Su Mu, came out fine. Rumble. Without waiting for Su Mu to speak, the next second, all the bosses turned their heads instantly, and the fire concentrate or grave collapsed instantly, and the temperature began to drop, exposing a large amount of fire concentrate ore. A group of people stared wide-eyed, the Jedi is gone. In the end what happened? I'm going, something must happen inside. Seeing this scene, while a group of big shots were shocked, Su Emu's face was full of black lines. He still thought about fooling around casually. But it was obviously not easy to fool around right now, he had to think about it, trying to find the most suitable excuse to prevaricate. Soon, a group of big shots looked at Su Mu again in a daze. Seniors, the thing is like this. Su Mu took a deep breath and began to talk about his impromptu excuses. The matter has to start from Donglai City. Su Mu made up a half-truth. In Donglai City, he assisted Wang Yang, the city lord, to kill Haibo of the flame demon sect, got the token, and was guided by the token to find the fire essence mine tomb. Entering the fire essence mine grave, there is a strong person protecting his body, so he is naturally the old demon Yanwo. Then, Su Mu found out that he had been fooled, the old demon Yanwo wanted his own body. Fortunately, old demon Yanwo was also on the verge of death, he seemed to be seriously injured, and was burned badly by the flames in the mine grave. Su Mu killed the opponent when he was off guard and let down his vigilance. Su Mu never mentioned the matter of the strange fire, and said that there might be other terrifying fire attribute monsters in the Jedi, and they died together with the old demon Yanwo in the end, so he took advantage of it. Of course, big brothers believe it or not, Su Mu doesn't care, anyway, the mine tomb has collapsed, and because of the extremely high temperature inside, there will be no corpses of Yanwo Leomo and the horrible monster compiled by Su Mu, that is, there is no evidence of death. Hearing Su Mu's words, a group of bigwigs were stunned for a while, and a group of people looked at each other suspiciously. Believe it or not, each has its own judgment. Obviously, Su Mu's words may be true or false, and Leomo Yanwo is the truth. Because they didn't tell Su Mu that the king of Tang Dynasty had chased and killed Yanwo here ten years ago. To be able to tell the old demon Yanwo in one breath, I really met him. But now, the tomb of the fire concentrate mine collapsed, and there was nothing left. 
There is a high probability that Yanwo was killed by Su Mu. As for how to kill him, only Su Mu himself knows. But believe it or not, they're not going to pursue it. It's actually Yanwo Leomo, he's not dead yet. The younger generation is awesome, you actually killed Yanwo. This devil did all kinds of evil back then, and there was no opponent in Wu Zun's realm. In the end, it was the king of Tang dynasty who forced him into a desperate situation. Fortunately, the old devil is dead, otherwise it would be another catastrophe to let him out of trouble. While speaking, Wang Fuzan, the head of Zanjiang College, spoke again. Quote dot quote, okay, no matter what, it's good to get out safely, and then I will report to kill the old demon Yanwo, whether it's for cheap or other military achievements, you are indispensable. After saying this, all the bosses looked at Su Mu. Now, express yourself, what is your choice? A group of big shots stared at Su Mu expectantly. Su Mu looked around suspiciously. To be honest, he was not familiar with any of these strong men of the older generation, nor was he familiar with the various colleges in the Great Tang Marshall Mansion. But it doesn't prevent him from making a rough estimate. Obviously, the strongest and most resources must be Zanjiang College. But Zanjiang College must also have the most students. The weakest is of course the Jidao Academy, and the Dean Lu Songyuan is actually only a general. Haven't you seen that the deans of other colleges are all strong Wuzun? Wang Fuzan of Zanjiang College was only the vice president, but he was the one with the highest level on the scene. But before Su Mu could speak, Lu Songyuan stared. Is there any good choice, everyone, I'm sorry, Su Mu has already joined my school of Jidao Academy as early as in Donghai City. As soon as Lu Songyuan opened his mouth, a group of bigwigs glared at him one after another. Get it Zhao, what are you talking about, you haven't participated in the training camp at that time, what teacher does Su Mu worship? That is, your Jidao Academy exists in name only. How many years has it been since you recruited disciples? Su Mu, don't listen to him, the Jidao Academy is a pit. The road to the Jidao is a dead end. But before the group of bigwigs finished speaking, Lu Songyuan waved and took out a letter. Everyone stare at your dog eyes, this is a letter written by the young master. Everyone took a look, and their faces changed immediately. This is really a book written by Hu Yili Qingfeng himself. It says that the Daiji Dao Martial Academy accepted Su Mu, Tata, Wu Ji Jing, and asked Lu Songyuan to pick up Su Mu in person. This letter cannot be faked, and a group of bigwigs naturally knew Ji Qingfeng's handwriting. A group of bigwigs, after passing the word on, their faces turned ugly. Li Qingfeng personally accepted Su Mu. Su Mu is really a martial arts classic for cultivation, and he is really walking the path of the ultimate way. But in the next second, Wang Fuzan, vice president of Zanjiang College, snorted coldly. So what if you become a teacher? It's not that you can't transfer to another school. As he spoke, Wang Fuzan looked at Su Mu. Su Mu, it's up to you to decide. Join the Extreme Dao Academy and continue to walk the path of the Extreme Dao. Even if Hu Yi is the former dean of the Extreme Dao Academy, to put it bluntly, the path of the Extreme Dao is still a dead end. You haven't condensed your blood yet, so it's still too late to switch to the cultivation method, and you will be stronger after switching to the practice with your foundation. Don't worry, there are quite a few people who took the extreme path before and successfully converted their skills in the martial arts realm, and there is no big problem. After Wang Fu Zan finished speaking, Lu Songyuan also sighed, and said. What he said is not unreasonable, but the ultimate path may not really be a dead end. Forget it, I won't say any more, Su Mu, stay in the Goku Academy, you are the pillar of the Goku Academy. If you want to join other colleges, I will not stop you, you still have to choose your own path. Ultimately, the problem came back to Su Mu. Continuing on the path of the ultimate path is likely to be a dead end, because of the lesson learned from the past, even the Marquis Li Qingfeng stayed in Waho realm. Of course, Su Mu may not be unable to create miracles. And if you choose to join other colleges, there is no doubt that Su Mu will also become a core student, and the resources will be greatly supported. But it seems to be a difficult problem, but Su Mu has already figured it out. Of course he still has to go the extreme path. He only got the upper part of the Wu Ji Jing, only the refining chapter, and he didn't have the follow-up exercises. 
Of course, there may be big problems in the follow-up techniques of Wuji Jing, otherwise, why can't most people break through to Waho or above? But no matter what, the path of extreme path is the path he set for himself. Now, he is not in a hurry to choose, he naturally wants to gain some benefits. As a result, a group of bigwigs didn't seem to understand the meaning of this, and they were all analyzing their strengths and weaknesses for him, without specifying rewards or the like. Su Mu coughed dryly, and looked at Wang Fu Zan. Principal Wang Fu, is there any reward for me joining Zanjung Academy with the best training result? Are there any specific discounts for follow-up resource support? As soon as Su Mu said this, a group of big men who had already matured looked at each other, why didn't they understand what Su Mu was up to? This is a bargain. Wang Fu Zan took a deep breath. Of course there are. The military training ranks the first. After joining the academy, you will become a core disciple directly. You will be rewarded with 100 drops of blood essence and one chance to enter the cheap BFEF blood secret realm. After Wang Fu Zan finished speaking, Lu Song Yuan grinned. Stay in Jidao Academy, you will be the dean, and all resources will be allocated by you. This is much better than Zanjung Academy. Resources are allocated at will. In fact, apart from Su Mu, there is only one other student left in Jidao Academy. However, it is obvious that the Jidao Academy may not have any resources. Sure enough, as soon as Lu Song Yuan finished speaking, a group of bigwigs laughed strangely. Old Lu, do you still have resources in Jidao Academy? That is, since three years ago, your Jidao Academy's quota has been cancelled, because no one participated in the monthly and quarterly exams for five consecutive years. It can be deployed by Su Mu alone, the key is to have resources for him to deploy. Hearing this, Lu Song Yuan's expression turned ugly, but he was powerless to refute it, because it was all the truth. But Lu Song Yuan was convinced, and said, don't forget where all the resources of my Jidao Academy have gone. Back then, my brothers and sisters exchanged their lives for the resources. Grab, grab, you deceive me that there is no one in Jidao Academy. As he spoke, Lu Song Yuan looked at Su Mu. Su Mu, don't worry about the resources. As long as you come, I will do my best to get you by tearing up this old face. Of course, you have to work hard. You join the Academy. Exams, national exams, and half-year exams require you to support your appearance. To put it simply, if you join my Ji Dao Academy, you may be the public enemy of the same class of students in the future, are you afraid? Before Su Mu could speak, Lu Song Yuan continued. Of course, if you can continue to overwhelm a generation like you do now, what about the public enemy of the whole academy? The resources are not given by others, but earned by yourself. As the dean, it is also the only mentor you can choose. I, Lu Song Yuan, can only guarantee to give you provide the resources to get started. Lu Song Yuan's words came from the bottom of his heart. Su Emu's eyes flickered, and he could only shake his head in the end. I just want some benefits, and I made everyone so unhappy. Saying that, Su Mu clasped his fists at Wang Fuzan and the other big guys. Thank you seniors for your kindness. Su Mu has already decided to join the Chido Academy. From Su Emu's opening, Wang Fuzan and others already understood Su Emu's choice. Hearing Su Mu say it at this moment, everyone shook their heads while regretting. Continuing on the Pokemon road can Su Mu really create miracles? Wang Fuzan nodded. Forget it, I chose the path myself. Just now, Dean Lu said it well. From now on, you may become opponents with our students, but you are definitely not enemies. The only enemies of our human beings are foreigners. Su Mu cupped his fists again to thank him, and then he looked at Zuo Anbang, the dean of the Alchemy Academy, Lu Fei, the dean of the Weapons Academy, Kai Changeling, the dean of the Beast Academy, and others. Seniors, after I join the Jidao Academy, can I still choose auxiliary skills such as alchemy, refining weapons and beasts? Su Mu has decided to join the Yakuza Academy. It can be seen that the Jidao Academy is really poor and the extreme road he took is not the extreme road that others understand. Right now, his martial artist stayed alone as a perfect tempered body with ten forgings and ten heavy weights, and only he himself knows the horror of consumption. Therefore, Su Emu's admission to Detang Wufu also has another purpose, to make money. Alchemy, equipment refining, 
and animal taming are the most common ways to make money, and soon you is still thinking about alchemy, can refining equipment fast forward? If he can, will he worry about resources in the future? After hearing Su Emu's words, Zuo Anbang replied without thinking. Yes, Tang Wufu does not restrict students to elective courses, but non-formal students can only attend lectures without any other benefits. Several other people also nodded. Of course you can. You are welcome to take it as an elective, but informal students can only listen to open classes and there is no one-on-one -on -one instruction. That's right, Su Mu, if you are interested in these things, you can think about it again. Can the public class and the private class be the same? Besides, whether you are refining alchemy or taming animals, you need a lot of practice. Su Mu grinned and clasped his fists at the bosses. Thank you to the principals for your clarification, I have already chosen the Academy of Pokemon and I can only take electives. Several people shook their heads regretfully. Su Mu finally embarked on the path of extreme, which is indeed very regrettable. Then, Wang Fu Zan Mao, vice president of Zanjung College, said. Okay, today's freshman training is over, and the double selection of the following students and the academy has officially started. Zanjung Academy, born for war, come to Zanjung Academy and you will be the next king. As soon as the words fell, Wang Fu Zan's aura suddenly rose, it was not blood energy, but spiritual power. In terms of momentum alone, Wang Fu will overwhelm all sides in the battle, and no one can compete with him. This is the Zanjung Academy, the most powerful academy in the entire Datang Wufu. Then, the deans of other major colleges also showed themselves and developed admissions declarations. Zuo Anbang, the head of the Alchemy Academy, waved a bunch of pills in his hands. These pills are body-quenching pills and blood coagulation pills, although they are only low-level pills, they are suitable for warriors and martial artists. But each of these elixirs is full of brilliance and extraordinary charm, which is obviously not comparable to those ordinary elixirs that can be bought in the market. Then, Lu Fei, the head of the Weapons Academy, waved his hand, and several flying swords flew up amidst the radiance, piercing so brightly that people couldn't open their eyes. In the next second, Kai Changeling of the Academy of Beasts grabbed a trembling warrior-level monster hiding in a corner in the distance, and he caught it in front of him. The escaping monster fell silent. The dean of the Monster Research Institute let out a low growl, and his stature swelled instantly, turning into a giant, and a roar resounded through the sky when he opened his mouth. All the masters showed their abilities, and many students were dazzled, fascinated. After the big guys have finished showing, it's the turn of the students to show. The students' demonstration is very simple, and they don't need to fight or the like, but update Qian Long Ruo on the spot. Chen Yaonan stepped out and stood above the void, holding a token in his hand, with a wave of his hand, everyone's tokens received the message. But this was not enough, Chen Yaonan continued to pinpoint the token in his hand, and instantly his token burst into a strong light. In the next second, the Qianlong list appeared above the void. The Tang Qianlong list. First place, Su Mu, Military Merit, 100,200 points, Rank, General, Record, suspected to kill a seriously injured and dying Wuzun to complete the realm. The second place, Zhou Han, Military Merit, 28,000, Rank, 10,000 Husband Commander, Record, single-handedly killed General's three-level monsters. The third place, Fang Junyan, Military Merit, 30,000, Rank, Commander Wan, Record, killing the monster of the second level of Generals alone. The tenth place, Chen Yunxi, Military Merit, 10,000, rank 10,000 commander, record, alone kills the first level monsters of generals. The complete list of hidden dragons is just announced. Su Mu, before entering the fire concentrate graveyard, his military merit was as high as 10,280. This time, the military merit of killing the fire demon king was also counted on his head. Fire demon king, Wu Zhu 9 levels of consummation realm, 90,000 rewards for killing military exploits. Therefore, Su Emu's military merits ranked first again, reaching as high as 100,000, and he became the only partial general on the scene. Zhou Han and Fang Junyan looked ugly again. During Su Emu's absence, the two of them broke through as martial artists and rushed to the third ring, originally planning to challenge Su Mu. They couldn't find Su Mu in the end, so they could only hunt monsters and improve their military achievements crazily, trying to overwhelm Su Mu in military achievements. 
As a result, as soon as Su Mu comes out, his military achievements are once again beyond their reach. And Chen Yunxi and other Tianzhao were not idle, and after leaving the customs, they also joined the ranks of hunting monsters. But the more you have participated in hunting monsters, the more you know how difficult it is to accumulate military merit. Su Mu's military achievements are as high as 100,000, which is desperate. Of course, they all knew that Su Mu relied on killing the fire demon king. Many people think that Su Mu is taking advantage of it. But this cheap price is not something that anyone can pick up, it is a top martial master, one step away from the king of martial arts. Even if he was seriously injured and on the verge of death, a mere martial artist would not be enough to look at in front of him. Soon, someone made a choice. Zhou Han, Fang Junyan, Chen Yunxi, and Wang's siblings all chose Zanjiang College. On the other hand, Xu Junfeng chose the Beastmaster Academy. According to him, why go to the academy by himself if he can keep pets? These Tianjiao all have identities and backgrounds, and many of them have even already set up that mentor. In the end, 1,000 apprentices were selected one after another, but they failed to make it to the Qianlong list, that is to say, the eliminated trainees could only go back and forth. The reality is so cruel. What is rare is that even the guy with the lowest rank in Zhongling province this time has made the list and successfully joined the Tang Wufu. Of course, this is all due to Su Mu, when he robbed everyone, the remaining pills were given to the students in Zhongling province. Because of Su Mu's deterrence, no one dared to attack them, and these people's cultivation has also improved by leaps and bounds during this period. After the selection of the students was completed, the deans of the major martial arts schools followed behind the students they had recruited. The total number of people is 1,000, and each academy can recruit many talents. Of course, Zanjiang College is the strongest, accounting for almost half, that is, nearly 500 people have joined Zanjiang College. No way, Zanjiang College is the strongest and has the most resources. And the most miserable academy is none other than Jidao Academy. Not to mention that the Dean Lu Songyuan did not show at all, nor did he shout slogans. Even if he showed it, probably no one would come. Extremely, not everyone can go. Moreover, we all know that the extreme path is almost a dead end. Therefore, in the end Lu Songyuan, the Dean of the Jidao Academy, was the only one who followed Su Mu. Okay, it's all over, and my mission has been completed. Yaonan is here to wish all the students a bright future, and wish the colleges to create more glories. After the selection was over, Chen Yaonan couldn't wait to drive him away. I'm afraid, if something like this happens again, his barracks will be messed up. This time I almost lost Su Mu, he has a psychological shadow. The deans of the major colleges in Datang Wufu shook their heads helplessly at this moment. Headed by Wang Fuzan, the vice president of Zanjiang College, he will take all the colleges to Fuchang and enter the Great Tang Martial Palace. But at this moment, Zhou Han, who was already standing beside Wang Fuzan, frowned slightly, and the player said in a loud voice, Seniors, can you give this junior a few minutes, I want to challenge someone. Zhou Han, who had endured for a long time, still spoke. No need to say who to challenge, Su Mu. Su Mu seems to be a knot in his heart. He broke through the martial arts realm just to suppress Su Mu. In the end, no one was found. At that time, Chen Yaonan said that Su Mu was gone, and he was very regretful. But now that Su Mu is back, they have completely become a foil for these arrogant people. Su Mu has become his inner demon, if he doesn't fight Su Mu, he is afraid that his future practice will be affected. After Zhou Han finished speaking, Fang Junyan also stood up. If there is no Su Mu, these two are the existences that have attracted much attention, and they are the most dazzling talents in this training camp. Unfortunately, the appearance of Su Mu took away all the light and eyes that should belong to them. In any previous class, these two are the top existences, but it's a pity that they were born in the same era as Su Mu. Hearing Zhou Han's words, a group of bigwigs froze for a moment, and then they all understood. Su Mu's radiance is too bright, making these Tianjiao live in the shadows, which is also helpless. Wang Fuzan nodded, then looked at Su Mu. Su Mu, you are only a martial artist, you can refuse. Besides Su Mu, Lu Songyuan, the dean of Jidao Academy, also said. 
There's no need to create extra problems, you're just a martial artist, you can completely reject the challenge of a martial artist. He is also worried, no matter how evil Su Mu is, he is just a warrior, even though it has long been rumored that he has tens of millions of combat power. But Zhou Han and Fang Junyan have broken through the realm of martial arts, and their strength has grown by leaps and bounds. They have at least 20 million, or even nearly 30 million combat power. The difference between the two sides is huge. According to the rules of the Tang Dynasty, Su Mu can refuse. Because of the rules of the Tang Mansion, only the weak can challenge the strong, and no strong can challenge the weak. Su Mu is only in the realm of warriors, while Zhou Han and Fang Junyan are in the realm of warriors. In the next second, Zhou Han and Fang Mu are also walked out of the crowd. Zhou Han bowed his hands to Su Mu. I have heard about Brother Sus deeds for a long time, but I know that I am not your opponent, so I can only break through the martial master in advance, just to fight you. Fang Junyan also smiled and said, Brother Su, I can't wait to flatter you about your military achievements and achievements, but if you want to know the difference between you and me, I'm afraid it's not just about Brother Zhou and me. As soon as these words came out, many students at the scene nodded. Su Mu, let's play a game, you won't be ashamed even if you lose. That's right, I've long wanted to know the three of you, who is stronger in the 357. Su Mu, you are the number one in the Qianlong list, but the Qianlong list is only ranked according to military merit and record, and does not represent real strength. Don't you want to prove it? Many students echoed, and a group of bigwigs also looked at Su Mu, their eyes full of anticipation. Little guy, we are also looking forward to it. I just heard about your record, and I have never seen you make a move. Show me a hand for everyone to see. If you don't fight a game, even though you are at the top of the list, it will be difficult to convince everyone. But Lu Songyuan, the dean of Jidao Academy, stared at him. What's the matter? Is it a bully, or you guys go up together and beat up Su Mu? Shameless. But before Lu Songyuan finished speaking, Su Mu grinned, it's not like I haven't done gang fights before. A group of bosses didn't understand the truth, but many students at the scene were ashen-faced. During the training camp, gang fights really happened. Of course, it was Su Mu who beat up a group of other trainees. Su Mu, Lu Songyuan wanted to stop Su Mu, but Su Mu waved his hand and stood up, looking directly at Zhou Han and Fang Junyan. It seems a little humiliating to let the two of you go up together. What he said was crazy, so crazy that a group of big shots at the scene frowned frequently. But Zhou Han and Fang Junyan's expressions turned cold. Brother Su, is this over? Su Mu didn't care, and continued. In this way, in order not to waste everyone's time, each of you will take one move from me, and then, you will win, how about it? Wow, there was an uproar at the scene. Brother Mu is still so domineering. Win or lose with one move. The big werewolf Su Mu is going to zoom in again. Many students who are familiar with Su Mu's behavior feel better, because this is not the first time Su Mu has been like this. A group of bosses frowned slightly, and they couldn't see through Su Mu's background, but Su Mu was a little too arrogant. Zhou Han and Fang Junyan are martial masters, and they are not ordinary martial artists, they are Tianjiao martial artists. As soon as they broke through to the realm of martial arts, their combat power surpassed the limit warfare of ordinary martial artists. Just like that, Su Mu still dared to spout outrageous words. Lu Songyuan frowned and tugged at Su Mu's sleeve. Su Mu, can you be more careful? With black lines all over Lu Songyuan's face, he was already doubting Li Qingfeng's vision, what kind of apprentice did he take in? But the most depressing ones are the parties involved, Yuan and Fang Junyan. They were ignored by a group of big shots because of Su Mu before. Now that I finally got everyone's attention, Su Mu is going to ignore them again. Fang Junyan held his breath, and said coldly, Brother Su, please. He didn't talk nonsense anymore, he just started to talk, he couldn't take a single move. Impossible, he has only one idea now, to defeat Su Mu forcefully. In the next second, Fang Junyan's face was ashen and he took out the advanced long sword directly. There was no fancy at all, and he stabbed at Su Mu. But Su Mu beckoned, the spear was in his hand, and then the spear was shaken by him, and countless spear shadows appeared in an instant. Transformation Realm Combat Technique Stormy Pair Blossom Spear reappears. Fang Junyan was suspicious for a moment, 
Unable to tell the truth from reality, he swept his long sword across in an instant. Swish. The long sword directly sliced through the air, but Su Emu's figure had already appeared beside Fang Junyan, and the long spear was sent lightly, and it stopped directly at his throat. In an instant, Fang Jun's face was ashamed, and he completely collapsed on the spot. He lost, and he really lost with just one move. Su Emu's combat skills are too terrifying just a virtual reality switch is already invincible. Fang Junyan immediately closed his eyes. Boom. In an instant, heated discussions erupted at the scene. The gap is so big. Hiss, is he still unable to solve this move? It's not incomprehensible. If the strength exceeds him, the transformation of reality in reality will not have much effect. It can only show that Su Emu's combat power is far superior to Fang Junyan. Not only many students, but also a group of bosses were shocked. Everyone said that Su Mu was strong, but they had never seen it with their own eyes. But now I see. Transformation combat skills. What kind of talent is this? This mental strength should not be weak. It will be limitless in the future. It's a pity. Such an evildoer has to go to a dead end. Wang Fuzan and others spoke in regret. What Su Mu showed was not only combat strength, they were all top-level powerhouses, and it was obvious at a glance that Su Emu's combat skills had entered the realm of transformation to have such miraculous effects. What kind of talent is needed to cultivate combat skills to the level of transformation? None of them dared to imagine. When everyone was amazed, Su Mu put away his gun and stood there, turning his head to look at the shocked Zhou Han beside him. Are you still doing it? Zhou Han's face was ugly, and he cupped his hands at Su Mu. Switching from reality to reality, I consider myself invincible. He could see clearly Su Emu's move just now. He is slightly stronger than Fang Junyan, but not much stronger. Fang Junyan couldn't see through reality, and neither could he, so he could only admit defeat. They really can't take Su Emu's move. But he is also aggrieved, Su Mu is strong, but he is suspected of having the prestige of fighting skills. But hearing this, Su Mu frowned. You want to say that I rely on combat skills to get tricks? I don't mean that, Brother Sus' combat skills are really amazing. Zhou Han waved his hand. But that being said, he was still a little unconvinced. Su Mu defeated Fang Junyan with one move, relying on the combat skill of transforming the realm, transforming the virtual from the real, and the opponent couldn't see through it at all. Naturally, he has nothing to say about Su Emu's terrifying talent for practicing combat skills, but now he has not seen Su Emu's real combat power. Hearing this, Su Mu laughed. Okay, then give up the rainstorm and pear blossom spear combat skill. As soon as the words fell, Su Mu turned the long spear slightly in his hand and stabbed out directly in the next second. Combat skills, sky shattering shot. Zhou Han's face changed, and the next second he also took out a high-quality longsword, and stabbed out with the same earth-level combat skill. Ding. In the next second, there was a crisp sound, but it was Su Emu's long spear directly piercing the blade. Seeing this, Zhou Han was slightly relieved, he blocked Su Emu's shot. But in the next second, his face changed drastically, because a terrifying force instantly came from Su Emu's spear. Boom. Boom. Immediately afterwards, Johan didn't wait for Johan to react, but he was directly thrown away by the huge force, and at the same time as he fell to the ground, his right hand holding the sword burst into a tiger's mouth, and his whole arm was numb and could not move at all. Is this enough? Su Mu snorted coldly, turned around and left. Johan, who was blown to the ground, stared wide-eyed, he didn't feel the bleeding from the corner of his mouth, and his arms and chest were in severe pain, so he just ignored it. At this moment, his face was ashen, full of disbelief. He thinks that he is no weaker than Su Mu at the level of a martial artist, but just now when Su Mu defeated Fang Junyan, he thinks that Su Mu is strong in combat skills. But now, the facts tell him that Su Mu is stronger than he imagined. Su Mu is just a martial artist, she hasn't condensed blood, and her strength hasn't skyrocketed. If it waits until Su Mu condenses her blood and breaks through to the martial artist realm, then it will be fine. Zhou Han's eyes turned red soon, and then he lowered his head dejectedly, his arrogance was completely gone, and his pride was directly crushed. Tian Zhao and evildoers are nothing in front of Su Mu. Even Zhou Han, the strongest evildoer, is like this, let alone other people. 
Everyone stared at this scene with wide eyes in disbelief. Seeing this, Wang Fuzan and other bigwigs were all shocked. The sky-shattering shot is purely to condense the power of blood and energy in one blow, which can best reflect the foundation. And Su Mu didn't have any intention of playing tricks, forcibly repelling Zhou Han with his terrifying combat power. Zhou Han's combat strength has reached more than 2,000, nearly 30 million. In this way, Su Mu's combat strength is at least 30 million. What is this concept? A group of bigwigs took a deep breath. Because Su Mu is just a warrior. The scene was quiet for a few breaths, until Su Mu returned to Lu Song Yuan's side, the crowd erupted into roaring discussions. No trick, he is still so terrifying. A werewolf is a ruthless person. I have long said that he is a brutal werewolf. Su Mu really deserves the top spot. This chi and blood is actually stronger than the two people in the martial arts realm. Crushed by absolute power, Su Emu's strength far exceeds that of Zhou Han and Fang Junyan. Everyone, no matter the students or the elders, was shocked. Su Mu, at the martial artist level, defeated two top Tianzhao, at the martial artist level, unexpectedly so easily. Now there is no voice of doubt. No one even dared to mention Su Emu's military exploits when he suspected it was a coincidence. Such combat power, is it really just a trick? Extreme Dao, is still so strong. In the end, Wang Fuzan sighed, then waved his hand, go back to Tang Wufu. As soon as the words fell, Wang Fuzan waved his hand, and Zhou Han and Fang Junyan, who were in a state of desperation, were directly swept away and led the team away. Immediately afterwards, under the leadership of the big bosses from all sides, many students headed for the city of Datang Mansion. The team crossed the fiery land where there are many monsters, even if these students are only warriors, and a few of them are warriors, their aura is extremely powerful. Along the way, no monster dared to take the lead. The team was walking on the road, and everyone was silent. All the students looked at Su Mu with complicated eyes, reverence and depression. What is admirable is that an evildoer like Su Mu is indeed worthy of admiration, but what is depressing is that the same generation will probably have to live under his shadow in the future. This is luck, but also misfortune. It's lucky to be able to dance with such a monster on the same stage. Unfortunately, such a monstrous radiance was too bright to cover up everyone. Even if they were as strong as Zhou Han and Fang Junyan, wouldn't they be forcibly defeated directly? Needless to say, these two people have already broken through to the realm of martial artists, while Su Mu is only in the realm of martial artists. When Su Mu breaks through as a martial artist, his realm improves, and his strength still has a period of explosive growth, then who else in the same generation will dare to take the lead? Soon, everyone walked out of the fiery place, and the temperature returned to normal. Many people breathed a sigh of relief. The training camp is finally over, and next, entering the Datang Wufu will open a new chapter. The team advanced for a long time, and finally a huge city appeared before everyone's eyes. This city is like a giant dragon lingering on the ground, from where these students are located, they can't see the other end. This is Fuchang. The city of Tang Dynasty has a population of hundreds of millions, and the strong are like clouds. It is rumored that the king of the Tang dynasty will appear in the Wufu every year on the Fukqing, and we can admire the demeanor of this king. A group of students looked at the legendary Datang palace from afar, and they all exclaimed in amazement. Of course, except for Fuchang geniuses, they grew up in Datang Fuchang, which has long been a habit for them. Su Mu was also shocked by the aura of this Fuchang. The few big cities he had seen, Donghai needless to say, were not called cities in front of Fuchang. Zhongling City is big enough, but compared to Fuchang, it is still incomparably small. Soon, all the apprentices arrived in front of the tall city gate under the leadership of a thousand big men from the Tang Wufu. They are all trainees, and their identities are verified very quickly. However, many students were shocked to find that the guards guarding the gate here are actually strong generals. It is conceivable how strong this Datang Mansion City is. Immediately afterwards, the students lined up neatly and stepped into the Fuchang. A thousand new students, all of whom were born in heaven, naturally entered the city and attracted the attention of all parties. Have any new students from Wufu come this year? Is this the strongest batch of evil geniuses of this generation? Don't say that there are quite a few strong men. 
I just want to know who is that Su Mu who made all the powerful people in the colleges go all out. The previous discussions were fine and normal, but when the conversation changed later, many people started to discuss Su Mu. Su Mu's fame has already spread to Datang Fuchang, which is unexpected by many people. But it's normal to think about it. The Martial Arts Academy of the Great Tang Dynasty is the highest martial arts school in the Tang Dynasty, and all those who can enter are top-notch geniuses and evildoers. Those who come out of the Great Tang Martial Palace will be the pillars of the Great Tang Mansion in the future. Therefore, it is normal for the new students of the Great Tang Martial House to attract much attention, especially for the top evildoers among them. Su Mu, the top of the Qianlong list, has made so many big things, it is normal for many powerful people in Fuchang to know about it. A group of students, led by the bosses, walked for a long time, and finally saw another city within a city in the center of the city. This is naturally where the Great Tang Martial Palace is located. It is located in the core area of the Great Tang Mansion City, covering an extremely wide area. Even a Great Tang Martial Palace can be compared to a large city. At the entrance of Datang Wufu, the tall gate tower is engraved with four big characters of Datang Wufu. These four big characters are nothing at first glance, but upon closer inspection, there seems to be an inexplicable murderous air. The inscription is a name that everyone is familiar with, Li Daoyi, the founding king of the Datang House, the founder of the Datang Martial House, and the permanent head of the Datang Martial House. Immediately afterwards, many students stepped into the Great Tang Martial Palace. In Wufu, there are more strong people. Of course, many people may be just veteran students, but their strength is not weaker than the many folk strong people that everyone outside Wufu has seen. Su Mu and others were watched again. Consistent with the folk powerhouses outside, these old students pointed at the new students, and the core topic they talked about was actually Su Mu. After entering the Marshall Mansion, the various colleges began to part ways, and each left with their own students. The Great Tang Marshall Palace is very large, and a college may have a size of hundreds of acres. The Great Tang Marshall Mansion is divided into nine colleges, as well as comprehensive administrative departments, all of which are really not as big as Zhongling City. And Su Mu, led by Lu Songyuan, walked to the entrance of Jidao Academy. The location is not remote, and the area is not small. Su Mu curled her lips in surprise. I thought the Jidao Academy would be very small, but it turns out. The former Jidao Academy was very prosperous, even Zanjiang Academy can't compare. Lu Songyuan raised his eyebrows proudly, and then the two stepped into the Jidao Academy. In the huge and empty courtyard, there is only a pretty but thin young woman waiting here. As soon as Su Mu came in, the woman stared at Su Mu without blinking. Come on, let's get acquainted, this is your senior sister Li Qingqing. Lu Songyuan introduced directly, Qingqing, this is the Su Mu I told you about, and I will be your younger brother from now on. After Lu Songyuan finished speaking, Li Qingqing went straight to Su Mu and stared at Su Mu. Staring at Su Emu's old face turned a little red, Li Qingqing just smiled and directly took Su Emu's arm. Junior brother, don't run away when you come. Being held by Li Qingqing, Su Emu's old face flushed red all of a sudden. Next to him, Lu Songyuan coughed dryly. Cough, clear, pay attention to your image. Li Qingqing didn't care at all, and directly pouted and said. What are you afraid of? This is my junior brother. After all, a junior brother came here. How can I let him escape? Li Qingqing was really afraid that Su Mu would run away, so he dragged Su Mu to a gazebo in the huge courtyard and sat down. I've heard a lot about you. At this point, Li Qingqing finally let go of Su Mu and gave him a thumbs up. On the first day of the training camp, I beat up a group of Tianzhao. Senior sister has won the award, and I don't want to beat anyone up, it's just. Su Mu was so praised that she couldn't bear it anymore, and waved her hands repeatedly. But before he finished speaking, Li Qingqing said. So what if you get beaten up? Don't worry, although the five big families Zhou, Fang, Chen, Wang, and Xu are the top families in the Tang Mansion, they are much cleaner than other families. Ha, huh, what does that mean? Su Mu frowned and asked in confusion. It literally means that the five major families are powerful but not deceiving. They are the real pillars of the Tang Mansion. The five armies guard the four directions and sit in the caves. Their descendants also enter the Martial Mansion, 
but they do not participate in the struggles of all parties, so it is said they are clean. Following Li Qingqing's explanation, Su Mu understood what she meant. The meaning is to tell Su Mu that it doesn't matter if Zhou Han and Fang Junyan are taken care of, they will not hold grudges, and there is no strong person behind them who will come forward to trouble Su Mu. Of course, this great Tang Martial Palace is by no means a good place. Don't worry about the five members. Instead, what you have to worry about is the geniuses in other prefectures, that is, those geniuses who have been ignored by you. Li Qingqing seemed to have not been this happy for a long time, pulling Su Mu and talking non-stop. Seeing that the two got acquainted quickly, Lu Songyuan breathed a sigh of relief and greeted. You two, sister and brother, have a good chat, there is something to do for the teacher. Li Qingqing waved his hand casually, and continued to chat with Su Mu. It's good that you come here, the Extreme Way Academy is about to collapse, and I'm not walking in the Extreme Way, so I can't support the appearance at all. From now on, our academy will depend on you, backquote. The two chatted for a long time, and Su Mu also learned a lot about De Tang Wufu from Li Qingqing. For example, in the Four Dragons list of Tang Wufu, the four lists of Xiaolong, Qinglong, Junlong, and Shenlong, Li Qingqing is very familiar with the details of the Tianjiao on each list. The Azure Dragon, True Dragon, and Divine Dragon rankings are still too far away from you. Let me tell you about the Young Dragon ranking in detail. Li Qingqing continued. The list of your new students is called the Qianlong list, and if you enter the Martial Mansion and break through to the Martial Master Realm, you will have a chance to be on the Young Dragon list. Of course, it's not that easy to be on the list. There are only a hundred people on the Xiaolong list, and even the hundredth place is extremely strong. The top ten Young Dragons are on the list, and they are nicknamed the Ten Small Dragons of the Tang Dynasty, and the top one is called Xiaolong, so you can determine your surname. Just as the two were talking, several figures suddenly flew up in the sky. A voice instantly resounded throughout the city. Gong Tang Ten Little Dragons enter the catacombs, never destroy a city and never return. Immediately afterwards, the entire De Tang mansion seemed to be boiling, and the same roar came from every location. Respectfully send ten little dragons into the burrow, and return the immortal city. Respectfully send ten little dragons into the burrow, and one city will never be destroyed and will not be returned. Respectfully send ten little dragons into the burrow, and one city will never be destroyed and will not be returned. Su Emu's eyes flashed, and he stood up directly. He didn't understand the situation just now, but he was also moved by the atmosphere. The roar of the crowd was full of anticipation, full of magic. And Su Mu, looking up, saw a total of eleven figures in the sky, and each breath could stir the surrounding void, which was incomparably powerful. Among them, he only knew one person, and the middle-aged man who led the team was Wang Fuzan, the vice president of Zanjiang College who had just welcomed them into the mansion from the training camp. These eleven people flew slowly in the sky, and countless eyes on the ground watched and blessed them. Flying is prohibited in Detang Fuchang, but today is an exception. Before Su Mu could figure out the situation, Li Qingqing next to him explained in a low voice. This is the practice of the Tang Mansion. When the evildoers on the four lists reach their peak, they will choose to enter the crypt to practice for the sake of breakthroughs and for the sake of human beings. Here, the first person following Headmaster Wang Fu's name is Li Yichen, a Tianjiao of the Li family of the Lord of the Tang Mansion, a martial master of the ninth level, who is said to have condensed 10,000 blood essence, and his strength is extremely terrifying. The second one, named An Yinglong, is the proud son of the An family of the Tang Dynasty, a martial artist in the ninth level, and has condensed 9,900 drops of blood essence. Li Qingqing, introduced to Su Mu. She just told Su Mu about the little dragon list and ten little dragons now she has seen it with her own eyes. When these arrogances enter the catacombs, what they face is no longer favorable conditions, but a fight to the death. Their enemies are the aliens from the catacombs. After more than ten minutes, the figures of Shi Xiaolong and Wang Fuzan completely disappeared. While Su Mu was shocked, he was also a little excited. Why don't men wear Wu hooks? Humans have magic cultivators and monsters making trouble, but the biggest enemy is still the aliens. Su Mu also wants to go to the battlefield, bloody on the battlefield. After a long time, I gradually calmed down. 
senior sister, your surname is also Li, and you are also a member of the Li family of the palace master's family. Hearing this, Li Qingqing frowned slightly, and shook his head without hesitation. No, don't think too much, I'm just an ordinary person, without any background, I was able to enter the Datang Martial Palace because my master respected his old man's health. Oh, that's it, I'm still thinking, forget it. Su Mu grinned. Li Qingqing rolled his eyes straight away, what? Why do you dislike senior sister for having no background? Su Mu waved her hands again and again, of course not, am I that kind of person? I see you are. Li Qingqing stared at Su Mu speechlessly. In the next second, another roar came from the Datang Martial Mansion that had just quieted down. Lu Song Yuan, are you crazy? Zhao Yanqing, don't talk nonsense, three years ago you borrowed a hundred drops of blood from my Jidao Academy and haven't returned it yet, bring it here. Boom boom boom. There was a lot of movement, and Su Mu and Li Qingqing who were chatting stood up with confused faces. But before they could react, the movement disappeared soon. In the next second, their eyes blurred, and Lu Songyuan had already appeared in front of them. Ma De Hao, Lu Songyuan had a calm expression on his face, and directly threw a small bottle to Su Mu. Take it, break through to the martial master realm as soon as possible. Lu Songyuan threw out the bottle very calmly, as if he threw some garbage to Su Mu and didn't care. Su Mu was bewildered. The bottle he held in his hand actually contained a hundred drops of radiant blood red liquid. Needless to say, this is the so-called blood essence. Of course, it is not the blood essence of human warriors, but from monsters or above the level of foreign warriors. Essence and blood, Su Mu also knows that the mission of the martial artist is to condense essence and blood. At this stage, you can use elixirs such as congealing blood pill for cultivation, or you can directly use the blood essence of foreign races as an energy source for cultivation. Undoubtedly, blood essence is the resource with the highest value and the best effect. Su Mu also thought about slowly considering resources, because Jidao Academy is very poor. As a result, as soon as he arrived, Lu Songyuan actually ran to rob. This scene completely overturned Su Emu's impression of Lu Songyuan. Even Su Mu saw Lu Songyuan for the first time, but in his impression, Lu Songyuan was a very calm and stable person. But now, Lu Songyuan is not at all calm and stable, this recklessness is even more reckless than Su Mu. In order for Su Mu to break through to the martial artist realm as soon as possible, he actually went to fight with someone for blood without saying a word. Why are you standing still? Why don't you go to practice? Lu Songyuan stared. Then, he pointed to the many small courtyards in the academy. You choose where you want to live. Seeing this, Su Mu collected the essence and blood, then clasped her fists and bowed to Lu Songyuan. Disciple Su Mu, thank you, Master. Before, he had always been called the Dean. Even if he knew that Lu Songyuan was the only mentor of Jidao Academy, Su Mu could only learn from Lu Songyuan. But he still didn't call out the word, Master. But now, Lu Songyuan's move made Su Mu treat him like a disciple. Lu Songyuan was also taken aback for a moment, then smiled. Okay, what a big deal, anyway, this is not the first time for me. As he said that, Lu Songyuan waved his hand and wanted to drive Su Mu away. Su Mu cupped her hand again, and then randomly picked a small courtyard and walked in. The Jidao Academy is good at this point. There are few people, each of them has a yard, and no one interferes. But as soon as Su Mu left, Lu Songyuan in the pavilion blushed and spit out a mouthful of blood in an instant. Li Qingqing's complexion changed and he hurried forward to support Lu Songyuan. Master, you are acting brave again. Lu Songyuan waved his hand. It's just an old problem, or is Zhao Yanqing only able to beat me to vomit blood? As he spoke, the corners of Lu Songyuan's mouth bled again, and Li Qingqing's face was covered with black lines. If Lu Songyuan was not an elder, she would have wanted to curse. Isn't that called bravado? Lu Songyuan is only at the ninth level of military commander, although he is walking the extreme way, but Zhao Yanqing is at the ninth level of Wu. Not only Su Mu, but Lu Songyuan also did this when she first started, and it was more than once. Of course, what Lu Songyuan said is also true, all kinds of resources of Jidao Academy have been borrowed and robbed by all parties, and now they are just empty shells. To support the cultivation of his disciples, Lu Songyuan had no other choice. 
But just as Liu Songyuan finished speaking triumphantly, Li Qingqing turned around and left. Not long after, Li Qingqing walked out with a knife in hand. Liu Songyuan's eyelids twitched. Smelly girl, what do you want to do? Li Qingqing directly bypassed Master Liu Songyuan, leaving a cold sentence. The master has prepared a meeting gift for the younger brother, and I, as a senior sister, can't be left behind. I'm going to hunt monsters, and I'm sure to break through 100,000 military achievements within a month, and then I'll challenge the young dragon ranking. Quote dot 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 quote. Hearing this, Liu Songyuan's expression changed. But before he finished speaking, Li Qingqing said coldly, Don't stop me, you have protected me for too long, this month's exam, I will be on the Shaolong list. You, hey, Liu Songyuan watched helplessly as his disciple Li Qingqing went out, but in the end he didn't forcefully stop Li Qingqing. But at this moment, Su Mu didn't know so many things happened outside in his own yard. He didn't expect that, just meeting for the first time, Master Liu Songyuan took the risk to challenge the strong of Marquis Ninth Realm of Wu to snatch him the blood essence needed to break through as a martial artist. As for senior sister Li Qingqing, it was the first time they met today but she was also going to prepare for the monthly exam with a knife in her hand and prepare for the competition for the young dragon list. Li Qingqing participated in the monthly exam and competed for the rankings, not for a ranking, but for resources. The martial palace of the Tang dynasty has strict rules, and there are monthly exams, and the Shaolong list of the martial artist realm is updated every month. The final distribution of resources will be determined according to the number of people on the Shaolong list. Obviously, Li Qingqing was a martial artist in Jidao Academy before this, and no one was on the list at all. In the room, Su Mu washed up, washed off the dust all over his body, changed his clothes and adjusted his condition, then sat down cross-legged in the special practice room, and took out the blood essence that Lu Songyuan had snatched for him just now. A total of 100 drops, according to Su Mu's estimate, should be enough to complete the first blood clotting. After adjusting his state, Su Mu put the essence and blood in front of him, closed his eyes and began to recall the exercises he wrote down earlier, Wu Ji Jing. According to the description of the technique, the concentration of essence and blood in the martial master realm is actually to compress the blood and energy, turning the invisible energy of blood and energy into tangible essence and blood. Essence and blood can be regarded as highly concentrated and high-strength qi and blood. At the level of a martial artist BFFD, the strength of a warrior is no longer measured by how many cards of qi and blood, but by blood essence. Even a drop of blood essence can be regarded as a martial artist, and the strength is the power of one blood. As for Su Mu, his qi and blood were already so thick that they were about to condense into blood essence by themselves. For him, breaking through to the martial artist realm was not a problem at all. But the reason why there is no rush to break through is also considered, that is the ultimate way. He wants to go to the limit every step of the way. Martial Master Zhou Zhang, that is to say, can compress qi and blood nine times in total. After each compression, completeness will be replenished, and the compression will be repeated. And the basic qi and blood are already in the body quenching stage, that is to say, the realm of warriors has been fixed, so once they break through the first stage of warriors, it will basically determine the future limit. After the first compression, a hundred drops of blood essence were condensed, and after that, basically every compression would condense so much. Therefore, it is very important to compress the gas for the first time. Of course, it doesn't mean that the first time you try to condense the blood, you have to compress all the blood. For example, Zhou Han completed the blood essence coagulation during the training camp. He condensed 100 drops of blood essence in the first compression, but this is obviously not the limit of his first stage. His limit can reach at least 1000 drops, which is already a very strong talent. But Su Mu's limit is higher than theirs, so naturally he won't be satisfied with a thousand drops. Now, Su Mu resources are also available, and right now it's just a fast forward breakthrough. Soon, Su Mu adjusted her state to the best, poured out a drop of blood essence from the small bottle and held it in her hand. Essence and blood of foreign races can be directly swallowed and refined, and can also be grasped and refined in the hands. Anyway, it is to absorb the energy in it. However, like Su Mu, many people would choose to hold it in their hands and refine it. It would be too irritating to swallow it directly. 
In the next second, the progress bar prompt appears again. The progress of the first compressed Qian blood, 0.00001%. Without hesitation, Su Mu directly clicked to fast forward. In an instant, the fast forward multiple was increased to 124,000 times. Swish, the essence and blood in Su Mu's hand shrunk visible to the naked eye. In order to avoid interrupting the cultivation progress, he simply poured out all the blood essence and held it in his hand. Boom, in the next second, Su Emu's breath rose to the sky. Fortunately, the practice room was blocked, otherwise this scene would have alarmed many people. Jingle, at this moment, Su Mu seemed to hear a crisp voice in her body, and the essence and blood condensed out. Immediately afterwards, before Su Mu came back to his senses, the jingling sound was continuous, like beads falling on a jade plate, incomparably crisp and melodious, ten drops of essence and blood quickly condensed. His chi and blood had already reached the limit, and he had already reached the point where the water was overflowing. At this moment, he was running the exercises and absorbing the energy of blood essence, as if he was opening a gate to release the flood, and it was out of control in an instant. After a few breaths, the essence and blood in Su Emu's hands had disappeared, and the aura in his body circulated by itself, which was completely different from before. The aura that belongs to the martial artist is fully revealed, and the power that belongs to the essence and blood is extremely surging. At this moment, Su Emu's eyes opened, like a god, his eyes were full of light, and his aura shook the sky. In the next second, Su Mu stood up and clenched his fist slightly, the terrifying power could even squeeze the air to the speed of explosive sound. This is the strength of a martial artist. Su Emu's eyes flickered. It's really not comparable to the warrior realm. Su Mu used to have a base of 1 million calories of blood, but now, if counting blood, 10,000 units is not enough. When he reached the martial master realm, he didn't need to use any instruments to test his own specific data. He is very clear about the situation in his body at this moment. Now, he has completed the first compression of Qian blood, with 5,000 drops of blood essence. The first level of martial arts is complete and officially achieved. He doesn't know how much blood essence other people's martial artists have at the first level of perfection. It is estimated that a genius like Zhou Han should have about a thousand drops, and Su Mu is at least five times as much as him. This is the strength of the path of extremes. Of course, ordinary extremes are not so strong. For example, Lu Song Yuan, a fighter of the first stage, has two thousand drops of blood essence, which is double that of other non-extreme geniuses. But Su Mu is even more terrifying than ordinary extreme monsters, reaching five times, five thousand drops. So, by the time I get to the ninth realm, my blood essence can reach forty thousand to fifty thousand drops. Su Mu grinned. According to Lu Song Yuan, if you don't go to extremes, the maximum amount of blood essence in Wuju realm should not exceed ten thousand drops. In other words, as long as Su Mu breaks through to the second level, he can reach the strength of other martial artists who are geniuses in the ninth level. This is where his real power is. Originally, the further back, the greater the gap between the great realms, so Lu Song Yuan's military general ninth realm would have to work extremely hard to defeat the strong Waho ninth realm. But when it comes to Su Mu, it is different. If he reaches the ninth level of martial arts master, he can easily kill the ninth level of generals in seconds. But obviously the amount of 40,000 to 50,000 blood essence is not the limit of his martial artist realm. At this moment, his 5,000 drops of blood are flowing together with the blood in his body. It seems that there is not much difference from ordinary blood, but in fact it is very different. A drop of essence and blood contains as much as 10,000 calories of qi and blood. In terms of qi and blood strength, Su Mu now has at least 50 million calories. This is the realm of martial arts. Of course, it is meaningless to say that the strength of qi and blood is meaningless in the martial arts realm, and the combat power of the martial arts realm is measured by precision and quantity. Su Mu was a little excited, it was only a month and a half since he got the fast forward start. In one and a half months, he went from being a non-warrior who hadn't finished tempering his body once, to now he has successfully broken through and stepped into the realm of a martial artist that he never even dared to imagine before. After training, Su Mu still didn't dare to leave the practice room. Now that he goes out, if Lu Songyuan sees him, he will probably get sick from fright. 
In just a few minutes before and after, Sumu broke through. This is too scary. Therefore, Sumu can only stay in the practice room to familiarize himself with the skyrocketing cultivation strength. And outside, in the big courtyard of Jidao Academy, Lu Songyuan had already wiped away the blood from the corner of his mouth and looked helplessly at the direction Li Qingqing left. Li Qingqing seemed to have also been infected and no longer hid under his protection. Because of the appearance of Su Mu, Li Qingqing also came out of the mountains, she was going to hunt monsters and gain military merits. Because of the monthly exam one month later, 100,000 military merits are required to qualify for the list. Only by entering the Young Dragon ranking can the Jidao Academy get the corresponding resources. This is the only thing Li Qingqing can do for Su Mu, a new junior. Lu Songyuan is able to beat people and grab resources, so she can naturally do her best to participate in the monthly exam and strive to be on the list. Of course, she is also a martial artist at the ninth level. Although she is not on the path of the ultimate path, she is also very talented. Although she cannot be compared with the top evildoers, she also has a close-handed blood experience. This strength should at least rank among the top 50 young dragons. The reason why she never participated in the list before is that Lu Songyuan didn't let her go, because her identity is a bit special, and Lu Songyuan didn't want her to be exposed. Not long after, Lu Songyuan withdrew his gaze from the outside, shook his head and sighed. The wings are hard, have you grown up? Brother Li, I have done what I promised you. Then, Lu Songyuan looked at the courtyard where Su Mu was, and murmured. Su Mu, this evildoer, can he create another miracle? Or is it really a dead end? Master Hu, I can't even see through this little guy you sent me. I hope he can really perform miracles, right? Then, Lu Songyuan said curiously. It took Hu Yi ten days to complete the first compression and break through the first stage of martial arts. Can this guy break this record? Lu Songyuan shook his head and didn't care about these anymore. In ten days, the martial artist broke through to the martial artist, and directly completed the first compression, reaching the first level of perfection. This record is still unbroken. It seems that Zhou Han and Fang Junyan who were in the training camp before did not exceed 10 days, but don't forget that these evildoers did not completely complete the first compression, but stopped after completing about 10%. Time passed quickly, and the next morning, Su Mu saved the whole night and finally got out. Early in the morning, Su Mu ran out of Jidao Academy and wandered around the Datang Marshall Mansion. This is where he will live in the future, so he must be familiar with it naturally. Zanjiang College is full of people in the early morning, and there are not a few students who get up early to practice martial arts. Alchemy Academy, you can smell the strong fragrance of medicine from far away. Weapon students, the sound of tinkling can be heard endlessly. Great Tang Martial Arts Nine Colleges, Warfare, Alchemy, Weapons, Beast Control, Kimin, Logistics, Jidao, plus two caves and two research institutes for monsters. Each of the nine colleges has its own characteristics. Only the Jidao Academy is at the end of its rope. Now if we really want to talk about it, Su Mu and Lu Songyuan are extreme fighters. The former students of the Pokemon Academy ran to death, leaving behind an empty shell. After wandering around, Su Mu returned to the gate of Zanjiang College. He's here for class. The public class is free, and this is what Su Mu has done before. Su Mu plans to go to Lianchao class, which is free anyway. His plan for today is very simple. First go to experience the free public class, and then go to Wufu Logistics Academy to exchange for resources and continue to practice. Now, his tasks are two things, get resources and practice. He used up the 100 drops of blood that Lu Songyuan snatched before, and completed the first compression. The second compression, I am afraid the consumption will be higher. But Su Mu still has resources, and that is military merit. During the training period, he was the only cadet who accumulated more than 100,000 military merits, and his rank was slightly lower than that of a general. 100,000 military merits should be quite a lot. In addition, the monsters he hunted and killed will also be converted into military merits, but these military merits are not included in the accumulated military merits and can only be used for consumption. Su Mu came to the gate of Zanjiang College, and just stood still, a group of people walked by, most of them were Su Mu's familiar faces, because they were all new students of their class. 
Today is the first day after enrollment, and almost everyone has come to class. Seeing Su Mu from afar, several old acquaintances greeted Su Mu very politely Lu. Brother Su also came to the open class of Zanjung Academy. Fang Junyan seemed to have forgotten about being instantly killed by Su Mu, and at this moment greeted Su Mu with a warm face. Zhou Han and Wang's siblings also nodded to Su Mu, while Chen Yunxi gave Su Mu a resentful look. Su Mu didn't care either, and also cupped her hands with a smile. It is said that the basic courses are still the strongest in Zanjung College, am I here to take a class? Ha ha, welcome, welcome, welcome. Fang Junyan smiled heartily, and continued. It's just that today's public class is aimed at the basic knowledge of martial arts cultivation. Brother Su hasn't gathered blood yet. Before Fang Junyan finished speaking, Su Mu released a little breath, and the faces of the group of people changed drastically in an instant. Warrior Realm, I'm going, big werewolf. Su Mu actually broke through in one night. Gathered blood at night, Su Mu deserves to be the number one on the Qianlong list. While everyone was amazed, Zhou Han's pupils shrank sharply. He felt it more clearly than others. Su Mu was not just condensing blood, but completely completed a compression. There is a slight difference in breath between the two, the breath of the one that has not been completely compressed will always fluctuate up and down, while the breath of the one that has been compressed is very stable. He felt it very clearly, Su Mu's aura was very stable, and it was obvious that he had completely completed a compression. But from getting started, this is, oh my god. Zhou Han took a deep breath. Brother Su is indeed extraordinary, he completed a compression in one night, Zhou Han admires him. After speaking, Zhou Han turned around and left. Which junior brother can help say hello to the instructor, I won't listen to today's open class, I need to retreat and practice. Fang Junyan and his group were completely stunned on the spot when they heard this. Especially Fang Junyan. When he heard Zhou Han's words, he felt suspiciously and carefully, then his eyes widened and he was speechless for a long time. I'm going to complete a qi and blood compression overnight. What kind of ghost talent is this? Nima, I'm still proud of being a little higher than the great demon King Su, but I was surpassed before I knew it. No, I have to go back to retreat. It's fine if I can't catch up with my strength. If I can't catch up with my realm, I won't be able to survive. In the next second, Several Tianjiao turned around and left, going directly to retreat. Fang Junyan came back to her senses, and looked at Su Mu with black lines all over her face. Brother Su, cowhide. After speaking, Fang Junyan also left. What class are you still attending? Su Mu has already achieved perfection in the first stage, and she actually walked in front of everyone, so let's go to retreat. Just like what a Tianjiao said just now, if the strength can't catch up, it's fine, if the realm can't catch up, can you still live? Fang Junyan left, and the Wang siblings also left involuntarily. And Chen Yunxi frowned slightly and glanced at Su Mu, then waved her fist at Su Mu. Su Mu, I will definitely surpass you. After finishing speaking, she also ran away, but added a sentence, I'm talking about realm. As a result, the Zanjung Academy held an open class in the morning for this group of newly introduced geniuses. The instructors hadn't arrived yet, and several top geniuses had all left. Su Mu didn't care, and continued to follow the crowd into the open classroom. At this moment, in Zanjung College, in a villa where the instructor lived, a middle-aged man was rubbing his eye sockets vigorously. There was still a little bit of bruising in his eye sockets. Opposite the middle-aged man, a young martial arts student is respectfully holding a mirror for the middle-aged man to look into. Okay. The next second, the middle-aged man raised his head and asked. It's almost there, I can't see it anymore. The student replied. That fool Lu Songyuan went crazy again, didn't he just take a hundred drops of blood from him back then, I still remember it now. As he spoke, the middle-aged man touched his eyes again, and said with a depressed face. This fool's attack is really heavy, the extreme is the extreme, this punch I've rubbed all night and it hasn't completely disappeared. This person is none other than Zhao Yanqing, the instructor of Zanjung Academy who was beaten up by Lu Songyuan yesterday and forcibly snatched a hundred drops of blood. Zhao Yanqing, Marquis of Wuju Chongjing, tutor of the School of Warfare. Soon, Zhao Yanqing tidied up his clothes again, and then asked the disciples beside him. Have all the new students been notified? 
I have notified them all, especially those top talents. I specially came to notify them. They all said that they would definitely come to class. The student who spoke was Zhao Yanqing's disciple, named Ding Feng. His talent was not the strongest, but he was good at flattering and flattering, which was deeply loved by Zhao Yanqing. Zhao Yanqing nodded in satisfaction. Is it open to the public? If it weren't for the juniors of those five families, I wouldn't even bother to go to it. Okay, let's go, let's go to class. Zhou, Fang, Chen, Wang, and Xu's five big families, Tianzhao, have no shortage of resources, and it is impossible for them to worship me as a teacher. They were all snatched by Wang Fu and that fool. The only one who can get online is the public class, and cooperate well later as a teacher, do you understand? Zhao Yanqing explained a bit, and the two masters and apprentices soon headed towards the open classroom of the War Academy. For today's public class, Zhao Yanqing made careful preparations. If he could catch up with any of the five major families, all his thoughts would not be in vain. Zhao Yanqing walked up to the podium in the open class of Zanjung Academy, and his disciple Ding Feng followed behind as a teaching assistant. Zhao Yanqing deliberately released a little coercion, which directly made many freshmen below feel fear, and immediately closed their mouths that were still discussing. Okay, it's all here. Today's public class will be taught by this tutor. Zhao Yanqing made an opening remark very domineeringly, and then scanned the audience, focusing on the front row. Zhou Han, Fang Junyan, Chen Yunxi, Wang's siblings, and the descendants of four of the five pillar families of the Tang Mansion are all among this freshman. Of course, Zhao Yanqing didn't let Xu Junfang go, and directly asked his disciples to visit him personally. But obviously, Xu Junfang didn't give face, he didn't come. Then, Zhao Yanqing, who had just swept across the first row, breathed lightly into the room. He scanned it again, his face was a little uneasy, and then his eyes subconsciously swept back. Soon, he scanned the whole audience, and Zhao Yanqing frowned completely. Zhou Han, Fang Junyan, and other five great family talents that he was looking forward to were all absent. He said awkwardly, everyone hasn't arrived yet, then we can wait for a while. Mentor, everyone is down. At this moment, some students returned in a low voice. Zhao Yanqing frowned, and cast a displeased glance at the student who had just spoken, although the rules of the college are strict, seeing as Zhou Han, Fang Junyan and other freshmen don't understand the rules. Master and apprentice Zhao Yanqing made excuses for Zhou Han, Fang Junyan and other geniuses who had not yet arrived. Naturally, I couldn't help complaining, isn't it just a little background? Dare I be late for class? Thinking so, Zhao Qing would not say it. But before he finished speaking, another student said, Teacher, they arrived long ago, but left again. Yes, Gang Zhuohen asked us to tell you that he is too busy to go back to retreat and practice, so he won't listen to today's class. Upon hearing this, Zhao Yanqing immediately became angry. What, didn't attend the lectures? Why do you think you understand everything? Ahem, mentor, I can't blame Zhou Han and the others, they were also scared by Su Mu. A student spoke again. Hearing this, Zhao Yanqing stood up suddenly, Su Mu. As soon as he heard the student's words, Zhao Yanqing guessed something, he stood up, glanced around, and soon found Su Mu who had been neglected by him. Hello tutor, I'm here. Su Mu stood up, grinned, and cupped her hands very politely. It's you Su Mu again. Seeing Su Mu, Zhao Yanqing was furious. Why did Lu Songyuan go crazy yesterday, isn't it because of Su Mu? Naturally, he also knew about Su Mu, who had been rumored in Wufu recently, he was a man of the hour. Su Mu quickly waved his hand. Mentor, don't listen to their nonsense. It's really not my fault. It's Zhou Han and the others who feel that their level is too low, and they are embarrassed to listen to the class, so they left. You are an outsider who drove me away, and the students of Zanjiang Academy are embarrassed to quibble. Zhao Yanqing was furious. According to what you mean, your state is enough to listen to today's open class. He knew that Su Mu was only a warrior. What he said was aimed at the level of a martial artist. Su Mu even dared to say that the level of Zhou Han and others who entered the martial artist level was too low. Su Mu had no choice but to shrug his shoulders, and the next second his breath was released. Zhao Yanqing's eyes widened immediately, martial master level 1. He understood everything at once. Why did Zhou Han and the others rush back to retreat? They are so angry. 
Su Mu has completed the first stage, they are just beginners, Johan and others are all arrogant monsters, naturally they have to scramble to retreat and practice. Immediately, Zhao Yancheng was angry and furious, and stared at Su Mu fiercely, wishing to swallow Su Mu directly. It's a pity that Su Mu didn't know that incident happened, because he didn't know that the mentor in front of him was the guy who was beaten up by his master Lu Songyuan yesterday. But Zhao Yancheng is also a ruthless person, he gritted his teeth, unexpectedly did not attack on the spot, but took a deep breath, gave Su Mu a hard look, and then changed the subject. Well, let's leave them alone and start class. Seeing this, Su Mu frowned slightly. He had already noticed something was wrong, and asked Zhao Yancheng's identity to a Zanjung College student beside him. Before Su Mu could finish asking, Zhao Yancheng had already started class. Today we won't be talking about the basics of martial arts training, we'll switch to actual combat lessons. As he spoke, he waved to Su Mu. Su Mu, you are the only student from the Foreign Academy, please come and demonstrate in today's practical class. At the same time, Su Mu also learned the name of the person in front of her, Zhao Yancheng, from a classmate next to her. Su Mu's face turned dark, and she understood everything in a flash. The name Zhao Yancheng was the one Lu Songyuan beat up and yelled at yesterday. Now that Zhao Yancheng asked him to come on stage to cooperate with the demonstration, the intention is obvious, just to take the opportunity to clean him up. Su Mu had no choice but to stand up and walk onto the podium. Zhao Yancheng sneered without a trace, and continued. Today, I will explain to you the skills of mobilizing essence and blood power, and let's see the wrong demonstration. As he spoke, Zhao Yancheng pointed to Su Mu. Su Mu, you attack. Ding Feng, you don't need to defend yourself, he is only a martial artist, and he doesn't know how to mobilize essence and blood and exert force, so he can't hurt you. After Zhao Yancheng finished speaking, Ding Feng naturally understood his intention long ago. Ding Feng, a martial artist in the fifth level, has 3,000 drops of blood essence and is good at defense. The combat skills he practiced are all rare square combat skills. Zhao Yanqing used Su Mu as a demonstration, naturally to humiliate Su Mu first, and then let the two exchange offense and defense, let Ding Feng clean up Su Mu. The next second, Ding Feng came out, his breath fluttering, and then a faint khaki light appeared on the mountain, and he hooked his fingers at Su Mu. Come on, attack me with all your strength, don't hit the vitals, chest, stomach, whatever you want. With a look of disdain, Ding Feng pointed directly at his stomach but said to his chest. He is in the fifth level, although he is not a top-level evildoer, he is also a genius, otherwise he can enter the Great Tang Martial Palace. The most important thing is that he still specializes in defense, and his physical defense is extremely strong. Su Mu, a student who just started, has only completed the first stage of martial artist's blood compression, can he still impress him? It's just a joke. Seeing this scene, many students onlookers also became interested, and all of them stared at Su Mu with wide eyes, for fear of missing the excitement in front of them. And Su Mu grinned, really? Ding Feng's face darkened. What are you talking about? Try your best, your senior brother, I will overestimate you by a few small realms, don't worry, you won't beat me to death. Use combat skills, Su Mu clenched his fist and asked while stroking his fist with the other hand. If someone made him a target, of course he would not be polite. Although he clearly knew the amount of blood essence he had, he didn't know his battle strength yet. Has the increase in combat skills changed? How strong is your combat power? Ding Feng stood up and made him a living target, which was naturally what Su Mu could not have wished for. But he was also worried, what if it was broken? But hearing Su Mu's words, Ding Feng became angry immediately. What nonsense are you talking about? You don't need combat skills, but you still impress me with your basic strength. Instructor Zhao Yancheng also frowned. Of course use combat skills, otherwise how can I guide you and find out your mistakes? Seeing this, Su Mu nodded. Well, everyone heard it. They asked me to fight. I didn't provoke any trouble. I didn't intend to provoke a dispute between the two colleges. Not to mention Zhao Yancheng and Ding Feng's master and apprentice are annoyed now, even the many students who are watching can't help but make noise. Su Mu, are you still fighting? Wo Sao, hurry up, we have so many people watching, you have the ability to break this senior brother, can Zanjung Academy still trouble your Jidao Academy? That's right, 
you're just blah, 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 blah. The next second, Su Mu nodded, and suddenly clenched his fist, the blood in his body surged wildly, and then Su Mu punched out. Boom, there was a loud noise, Ding Fang couldn't react at all, and was directly blown away. Boom, plop, Ding Fang was blown away and hit the wall behind, his whole body was like a piece of paper pasted on the wall, falling to the ground with a crash. This is not over yet, as soon as he landed, Ding Feng's face was flushed, and he spit out a mouthful of blood with a wow. In an instant, the scene was quiet. Instructor Zhao Yanqing looked at this scene with a dazed face, he opened his mouth wide, and his face was full of disbelief. Mada, his disciple is a martial artist at the fifth level, so he didn't resist a punch. Ding Feng himself completely collapsed, Su Mu is really just a martial artist at the first stage. Are you kidding me, in his feeling, Su Mu's strength goes beyond the first level, he even believes in the ninth level, the strength is too strong. If he didn't specialize in defense, at this moment he believes that he is already dead. At this moment, he still vomits blood lightly, his viscera are displaced, and his chi and blood are churning endlessly. Even playing in the rankings in previous years has never been so miserable. And many students' eyes widened, only the sound of breathing was left. The great werewolf Su Mu, in their impression, was only suppressing a generation, and it was their generation of new students who suppressed. But now, Nima actually started attacking veteran students. And if you don't shoot, what is the time when the sun rises? A few seconds later, Ding Feng struggled to stand up, but his body was still bowed like a shrimp, it was painful. Cough, cough, brother, are you okay? Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so weak. If I knew it, I wouldn't need 50% of your strength, but you would use 30% of it. Seeing Ding Feng stand up, Su Mu went up to meet him with an apologetic expression. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.